Mobstat's wine, aren't you? Hmm. Hmm. Haven't you heard? There's a strange wanderer near Wolfendom. I guess I'll post a commission at the Adventurers Guild. The neighboring nation of Mila has the most prosperous commercial port in all of the ability to appreciate beauty is an important virtue. <laughs> Feels like the wind's creeping in from the back of my shirt, and also the front. My latest is...
Come at me, Shroud! Keep up, Tata. You! Be my guest. Hello. Hi Happy guys. Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Fun Hello, day. everybody. We are earlier than usual because I'm still trying to feel out what is good a good schedule for us to work with, I guess. Uh, oh, thank you for the head pets, Marhan. I hope you're Hi having guys. a good Sunday. Congrats on getting first. Aw, thank you for the head pets on Safety too. You know, I like I like getting getting pet behind my ear, so <laughs> there you go. Right. Um right. Uh this morning I woke up and all I did was we went out for a walk because it was so nice and cool out. And um then we just like well, because we planned this earlier this week, we're just like, well, let's try doing a noon, a noon stream and see if what happens. You know, like if if this will be bad or good. I don't know. I mean, it it, it worked out in our schedule because normally when we sit here on Sundays, we just kind of, well, Safty's been playing um, Tears of the Kingdom, you know, the new Zelda game, and uh, he's nearly beat it though i think no no I don't know no? If I've oh okay i've only done two of the temples mm. how many are there so there are four i haven't even locked the whole map four uh temples oh okay elemental temples are we gonna get these uh crystals here or no oh um oh you already went past okay never mind we can go back for them wait where the hell am i oh you're not there yet i don't know i'll, I'll drop down then I, I like we're just doing the dailies real quick I'm, I'm it's nothing really to watch because they're just boring dailies but yeah um, you know what this team's not gonna cut it I don't have my you can take care of the slime then oh wait I got my ult okay good you got your what I got my ult this should be fun okay well, I'll switch to the other screen just because hey are you already starting it oh okay good I can't really Hit it, but it's gonna keep you it. It doesn't form blooms. <laughs> Ghost figure. Hey Goomba! Yeah, good um it is actually afternoon. It's af it's noon our uh, where we are. So yeah, technically afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon to you. Did you wanna make more uh, condensed real quick? Well, I mean it's only at seventy one. I mean we, we got the dailies done. I was just gonna go jump into the stories. Well that's fine. I'm I'm uh we can. We we're not gonna. To. We're not in any danger yeah, of. Yeah, over, we are not even. Yeah, that's right. It. I'm used to doing this in the evening, guys. So don't mind me. I'm like, wait, wait, do you do? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're kind of messing with our schedule to see if maybe this will be better. How are you today, Goomba? I hope you had a. You're technically probably Monday now. Or are you still Sunday? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I, I I believe. Didn't you say you were like in Asia or it's a it's a lazy Sunday? Okay. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. You work nights. Oh, okay, okay. There you go then. Okay. Well, lazy Sundays are good. That's what Sundays are supposed to be, I think. So, yeah. All right. Night shift, huh? Ugh. While you're doing this, I mm -hmm. catch up. Finish up Jet's quest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should... Do you need oh, to go find the puzzle more. pieces, right? No, I did the oh. puzzle pieces yesterday. So no, I did but that. at least it has oh, its lesson. You know, I I'm 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 agreeing with that by a lot because you really just you know you do you go to you go to work, and you don't have to inter engage with anybody. You really just do your job and then, and then go home. I mean, coming from a place where I had to uh, work, I worked for I don't know. 15 years and basically customer service, you know, um, 
administrative, receptional, uh, accounting, um, uh, just customer service stuff, right? Front desk stuff where you have to like engage with others and, and just be yelled at by people all the time. And it's just like, you know, I, I, it's little things like that, that I really appreciate. I, you know, I, I, somebody's got to do the job. I have much respect for people that do are able to handle it because I can't, for me, I guess it depends on like what you are cleaning too, but I have a very sensitive nose. So if, if I smell something really bad, I just want to just hurl. So I can't handle a, a job like that. I couldn't handle like being a garbage pickup person because even walking by um, something, I mean, some people can resist that, you know, they're not, they're not bothered by it. But me, I'm just, it like overcomes my whole physical, like just my whole body just, ugh, I, I can't, I can't handle it. So I have much respect for anybody that can handle that because it's not for me. But I respect the fact that you can just go to work and do your job because when I was going on, sorry, I didn't mean to trail off, but when you have to work in that atmosphere with a bunch of other office women, especially, holy cow, it's like gossip city. And if you don't participate in that gossip, then you are shunned and you are like looked down upon and then you become part of the problem. Like you, they start talking about you because you're not part of the, the, the click, you know, and yeah, so. Oh yeah, you can dance, you can listen, you can just put on your headset and just dance like nobody, like literally nobody's watching, you know? You can dance if you want to, you can leave your cares behind. And if your friends don't dance, they don't dance and they're no friends of mine. And so there you go too, you can use it, you can use anything pretty much at your own discretion, you know? I mean, you don't have to worry or wait for other people or... It's safety dance. Yes, the safety dance. Safety <laughs> dance. It's a safety <laughs> dance. Oh, but yeah, no, that's awesome. I, I, if you can handle it, that's so much more power to you. And I have a lot of respect for that. I don't like how. Uh, add extra applesauce. Um, but I, what I don't like is the power structure of our society. Because I think janitors do more work than the highest paid people in a company. And I don't yeah, like the, how- the janitors, the janitors make the office more pleasant. Yes, my boss exactly. Less, my boss probably makes it less pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I like I said, I just, safety dance, safety dance, you know, hey, they both are the same, same right? <laughs> same, same difference, but yes, I, I don't like that part. I don't like the the structure of that. I think I think janitors do a lot more work than the highest paid people in a company. But that's my opinion, and I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm just saying that's just my opinion. And so I don't like how it has to be. Oh, you know, it doesn't pay well, but I'm this. But you know, it. If you enjoy what you're doing, that's more better than suffering through something you don't want to do or don't enjoy, and getting paid a lot, I think, in my opinion. So, yeah. If you're able to make ends meet, that's all that matters, too. Um, what was I doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, I wanted to finish this, but I can't because I need to do this. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I have to, I guess I have to do, uh, Yoimiya's quest. And I was like, uh, okay. I was hoping to save that for a while. I don't know why. Sometimes I have these random pins, and I'm like, where are they coming from? And I wonder sometimes, because Safty plays my, um, Spiral this, and he maybe just clicks randomly and then leaves it there. I'm like, where did that come from? Because I didn't do that, but yeah. And yes. Safety does my spiral this. I don't, I don't, I, haven't done I it. cannot, I know you haven't done it this time around, but you usually do. Um, I can't do, uh, I can't do quests or, or, or challenges that have a time on it that they make me nervous and very anxious. Um, when they're timed events. My life makes more money than me. It's a trade-off, but we did when we had... Aww. You know what? I, 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 I have so much more respect for you just because 
you don't seem to care and fall into that trap of, you know, that women can't make more than men. I love that. Thank you. That's awesome. And especially that when um, you, you took, you, you decided on that together as, as a couple for your baby. That's just, that makes it even better. Oh my gosh, my heart. Thank you. You're, that sounds awesome. I get the day shift and she gets an evening shift. Oh, okay. And taking care of the baby. That's, you know what? That's amazing too, because the baby gets to see both their parents and involved with both their parents because so many people have, and I'm just going to use Safty for instance, you know, my husband in, in this, in this instance is that he has hardly any relationship with his dad because his dad was never there, you know, never always working. It was always his mom. Wait, I thought I didn't hit it with electric. <laughs> That's lame. Okay. But yes, um, so yeah, that that's amazing too. So good for you guys. Sound like you have a. Um, does that not give it like? Okay, that's okay. Anyway, I give up. <laughs> I know there's some uh, crystal flies out here. Um, I'm gonna switch parties so they don't scare them away. Oh, come on, I didn't get that, really. Right here. Oh. Emerge. Right now. The Temple of Wisdom! I hate lover flowers, but I need their drops. So, there's that. This... This is the plan, at least, until she goes to school. Aw, then I quit my genital business and move... Back to day work. Oh, nice, nice. There's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome, too. Whatever works, right? As long as it works, that's what should matter. Oh, now I have Yai in here, so I can go get this stupid Sakura Blossom. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty solid plan, and, and that's really good that you planned it out, because... Um, when you don't plan for the future, that's when things can just really hit you really hard or you when you least expect it. Because um, I think that contributes to a lot of marital distress, especially. And, and it, of course, then affects the child because, you know, if you don't plan for things such as things like careers around the, the, the upbringing of the child... Everything can go crazy, and everything can fall apart really easily. Have you packed all your things? Make sure you brought the onigiri and rice cakes your mother- <laughs> They actually said onigiri too! Oh, that's painful! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then again, the um, English dictionary says it's onigiri as well. How are you guys doing? We're, we're doing good! I went, we went for like a half an hour walk. It was only like a... Uh, 50, high 50s? No, it was like probably 60 degrees by then. Um, and what was that? Wait, what was what? Oh, the, that was the, the story. I'm starting uh, Yoimiya's story. I haven't done it yet, so I need to finish it in order to finish the TCG event uh, story, so ugh. <laughs> they said, they even said oni, onigiri. <laughs> No, but I looked it up on the English dictionary, and and it, and they pronounce it onigiri, and it's like actually because yeah, of the so... fact that the Japanese um, their um, syllables um, they separate the gi and the ri, you know, and, and and the r has more closer sound to an l, so they don't really have uh, an l and an r. They have they usually interchange L and R when they're romanizing. L and R are the same character. In yeah, they're the, they're the same the character. Same sound. Same sound. In Japanese. So uh, it's only giri, 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 giri. You know, giri, giri. You know that word. It's not giri, but in English, and of course in our English, you know, for regular English speakers, it does look like only giri because that's how we read I R together. You know, like the I R. Whatever ending. Giri. Yeah. It's a Giri Oni. 
onigiri. And it's like, no, it's this, it's gi and then di. It's, it's very, it's very choppy, I guess to say. It, it doesn't flow. It doesn't roll into each other. <laughs> onigiri, yes. <laughs> That's how, how uh, English speakers say it. Even the um, uh, British English dictionary says onigiri. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's not like it's a bad thing to call it that. I'm not saying it's wrong, per se, but it's, it's better not... better than calling it a donut, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's better than calling it a donut. A chocolate cake. Um, a chocolate cake. <laughs> it's funny, because nobody really knew... I mean, back, you know, a long time ago, when they even back when they were first ro uh, localizing the Pokemon cartoon, um, when they saw them, I don't think they knew what they were, so they called them donuts. Instead of rice balls, they just called them, hey, you know, these are great donuts. And here's Brock eating, like, rice balls, uh, you know, onigiri. And then, um, it's like, no, 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 <laughs> they're not donuts. Brock's jelly. <laughs> so, you guys know this. Oh, my gosh, you guys know I, it. I, I, guess, I guess he mistook the umeboshi for yeah, yeah, the umeboshi probably was maybe jelly. It's a, maybe they're just like, these are actually onigiri, but Brock's a dumbass. And think... <laughs> but yeah, that's, um, like, my new name, uh, Panda Giri, is basically just taking the giri part of onigiri and putting it with panda. So it's Panda Giri. It, I thought it was, sounded cute anyway. It was supposed to be cutesy, so that's the backstory of my that's, name that's change. It's supposed to be. Yeah, Panda Giri. Just because it sounds cute, and the re the weird thing is, is not it was not intentional, but my uh, the way Safty drew my hoodie, it looks like an onigiri, like the hood part of the character looks like an onigiri. So I'm like, you know, that fits. That that actually fits. So <laughs> oh man, yes. So it's not that it's a bad thing, and like I said, almost everybody that speaks English will call it onigiri. But if you want to say it the way the Japanese people say it, they separate the gi and the di, you know, so it's onigiri. If you see the character, um, here, I can even, um, hold on. I don't have the, ja like, hold on. I can type it like this. Um, so if you see, this is the Japanese, this is the, the hiragana of onigiri. So the O is the first one, and Ni is the second character. It's it's just N I Ni, and then Gi is the third character, G I, and then Li is the the final one. So you can see how it's broken up if you want to look at it that way. It's O Ni Gi Li, and um, all all the uh, when you when I only took like a month of Japanese, so I, I my my Japanese knowledge is very very limited. But Safdie took many years of it. Um, so, uh, their, their vowels, I guess to say, is, you know, a, i, a, a, i, u, a, o. A, i, u, a, o. Yeah, a, i, u, a, o. So it's like, the eight, you know, it's like, uh, how we have, um, a, you know, a, a, uh, we, I guess we have that same thing, i. Wait, what is, what's the... What, what do you, what do you, what are you saying now? We have our own vowels, but it's like... A E I O U. Yeah, A E I O U. Oh my God, my sometimes my head is why. sometimes why. Yes, so it's like our A E I O U, but there's this A E U E O. So and then you go to the next one, and it's Sa Si Su Se So or something like that, and you always add they always add something else to it, but it follows a pattern. Um, so it always follows the A E U E O, and then Sa Si Su Se So and Tati Tu Te Do and Mami Mu Me Mo. I, Tachi Tsuteto, yeah, that kind of stuff. It's not, exactly it's not exactly that, but yeah. But yeah, yeah, there's an the, order, but I don't get the idea. That. You can actually get the. You'll get the. You've studied it. One of the usually one of the first things they hand you. Yes, that's that's. In a Japanese <laughs> class is a chart that charts out all the kana. Yeah, you can look up a hiragana chart, um, and you can see what it. Uh, hold on, maybe I can just Google something. Yeah, there's something right here on Pinterest. Uh, I'll link that real quick. So if you look at that image, 
if you want to. I mean, it's not that you have to. You can see how it goes the a i u e o, and then kaki ku ke ko, and then sashi sashi su se so, tachi su 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 te to, and then nani nu ne no, ha hi hu he fu. They, okay, and there's another thing about H's and F's, they, they actually share. So when you see that, it's like the same thing with R's and L's. They're the same. Um, the H and F is also the same. And in some cases, the W and the H is also the same. And it's just, it's really, really, it's the closest thing that they can do to uh, romanizing Japanese. So, because they don't really have a definite H, F, W sound if that makes any sense, like in an English way. So yeah, there, there's a good example of that. Um, nani, <laughs> yeah, nani. <laughs> you could actually nani, do that. Yeah. You can type, you can, you, if according to that chart, you know, you get the na and the ni, and you combine those and that's nani. <laughs> that's, that's how easy nani. it is with the hiragana. It, I mean, I'm, I've never gone into the kanji. That's the Chinese based characters where it's more complicated and, very um detailed i guess to say so yeah um uh, that's that's where it gets a, a little tricky so complicated yes yes kanji is i mean i'm well because it's complicated because not only you have to memorize them all they all have, they can have most yeah they have one little line off and, and it means a whole different whole, word yeah or they but what i saying they have, in, in japanese they have, probably in chinese too yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But, because it's but they have from multiple. Chinese. They have multiple uh, pronunciations depending on context. Mm -hmm. So a character. So a character can have multiple pronunciations, and so if you don't know how it fits together in a word, even if you know, even if you know its general meaning, try to pronounce it correctly. Yeah. Exactly. So. Um, I mean, my parents. So it takes a lot of studying the. I wish my and practice oh, in everyday use to get it right. Um, my parents uh, knew how to write Chinese, and I even have a Chinese name technically, but um, they never taught us how to properly write or speak because uh, my parents are in the same boat as many of the Europeans that came over here. They're like, you're in America now, you don't need this. So... They never taught us how to speak, and anytime we would ask them if you know what, how do you say this and that, they're like, ah, you don't need that. And so I never, I never learned how to speak um, Chinese or write it. I mean, I can understand bits and pieces, but it's mostly the um, curse words because they would always yell at us in Chinese. But when they're just speaking normally, it's always in English. But when they get mad, it goes to Chinese. <laughs> So I know more um, Chinese um, derogatory stuff than I do English, or um, than I do uh, normal conversation. It's lovely. It's just lovely. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, yeah, same here. Oh no! <laughs> oh, so you understand the 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 pain of that? It's just it's really frustrating though because it would be nice to be bilingual or multilingual. I mean, but yeah. I, like, my mom's most overused phrase was Sei pokai means, uh, basically, you know, go die in the road. And, <laughs> yeah, my mom would say that to me all the time. That was pretty much my name. Like, that's what she would, that's how she would refer to me as. And I'm just like, I didn't know for the longest time what it meant. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, okay. That is understand when I, I was in school, in ESL, in class, my classmates would teach me to the <laughs> Yes, very, very, uh... Oh, yes. That's, 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 um, well... <laughs> yeah, that, that, that makes sense. I mean, slang is always good to know, I guess, but... In my case, it wasn't that I wanted to learn the, the swear words, so, so it was kind of different. Oh, wow, seven languages? I learned how to swear in seven languages. That's actually impressive. That's impressive. <laughs> At least you know, sorry, I was taking a drink of tea, but at least you know when you go traveling to those countries that speak those languages, when uh, somebody is cursing you they, out. They, they, <laughs> they need someone to dub over Samuel L. Jackson's lines in the movie. Oh, no. They can reach out to you. Oh, no. No. 
Okay, I'm gonna just get hard over. Wait, Yomiya's mom's still around? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've never seen her mom. I thought it was just her I, father. I, I, don't, I don't know if he, she actually... I don't think she has a character. I don't think she, she ever shows up, like, in person. Her mom's not dead. Believe it or not, her, her mom is I thought is she was dead. probably dead. Because you don't see her, you just assume her parents are dead. Her mom is actually... Somalian, Polish... Wow. Russian, Lebanese, Iranian... Iranian. Is it Iranian or Iranian? Because I know it's Iran, but is it Iranian or is it Iranian? I don't know. I don't know because... Sorry, I'm just like... Because there are different... I think there's more than one language that... Like, for the longest time, because Americans always called it Iran, you know? But I found out recently that it's Iran or something like... Iranian. Iranian. Okay. Yes. So here, actually, you know, with all the people I knew... Uh -huh. Growing up, who were actually from Iran, always referred them to themselves as Persians. Oh, okay, okay. Well, the reason the, the reason for that was because they there 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 are a couple of reasons for them. A lot of those people that up with worked for the Shah. Their for what? Parent, like a lot of my I had a few classmates who were Iranian. Iranian American, I guess you could say, because they were born here, but their parents worked for the Shah. So they were literally kicked out of the country. Oh. When we, when when the, the, the current regime got rid of uh, our little puppet. Okay. I, I was, I'm like, wow. <laughs> That's, okay, maybe that was a little Iranian random. Iranian describes more of their language. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like the whole debate on Asian and Oriental kind of thing. <laughs> it's Asian person, but Oriental stuff. Like, you don't call someone an Oriental. You call them Asian. You call a rug an Oriental? Like yeah, an person. Oriental rug. But you don't call, you don't refer to the person as, like, so you refer to uh, the person as Persian, and then the language, or, cut, like, the, the area, I guess, is Iranian. Okay. Sorry, I mean, I'm, Persian, I'm Persian is not an accurate. But that's yeah. how they always refer to themselves, was, was Persian, not Iranian. Mm -mm. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but yeah, that's that's interesting. Thank you for I thought that the actual this. language is named Farsi. But maybe I'm thinking of something else. I have, yeah, I have no idea. I'm going to move you down a little bit, so... It's a dial. Oh, it's a dialect. Okay, okay. That makes more sense now. Look at Toma from the Yashiro Commission. He's originally from us. It's a dialect. Everyone okay. thinks he's a top tier guy. Yeah, my parents actually came from Vietnam, so they also spoke and oh, wrote Vietnamese. Being the broken one at home? I just fixed it today, actually. No, I said top, not mom. <laughs> Toma even sent us some wine from his homeland not too long ago. <sighs> we haven't heard this kind of friendly banter in a while, huh? This is cute. She seems to come from a well, you know, a balanced family. Oh, hey, you two! It's been a long time, hasn't it? You're as peppy as ever. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't actually heard her in English. I usually play this in Japanese, so. Because I'm going on a trip soon. Yeah, you know what? I don't know what she sounds like in English at all, so. Lots of Outlanders have come to Inazuma, and lots of Inazumans have gone out as well. You two have been adventuring all over to that, so you might not be able to understand. But for us, this is a long-awaited chance to go out and fulfill our dreams. That's right. The Sakusa Decree is gone. Just because my glasses are, um, not doing too well. Your Yo -Mia's friends, yeah. <laughs> They're still being held together by tape. Of your incredible accomplishments has spread so, plain in English helps me not having to, uh... She said she'd love to be like you two. <laughs> Come on, Dad. It helps it so I don't have to, uh... Hero. Read. <laughs> oh, you've done some heroic feats yourself. <laughs> oh, thanks. But I'm just your average artisan. The quiet life suits me better. But, if an opportunity presents itself, why not try to show your stuff, right? Heroic. Alright, 
Did you two come over today to order some fireworks? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I got carried away. Well, I am gone. Dad's in charge of making fireworks. You've seen how skilled he is, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh, no. We aren't here to do business or anything. We just happen to be passing by. Oh, so we're all here with time to spare? What a treat! In that case, let's chat some more. I'm not in a rush anyway. Sorry, I'm just drinking my tea while I'm watching this. <laughs> so, where are you planning to go? I'm gonna give him a, a, a Yoimiya story is much better than that fucking card game story. Oh, that's good. Card game story is just god awful. The conclusion <laughs> of it is, is like, it just me or some of the event quests connect to other events? Yeah, they do. This is why I have to do this one. I can't finish yeah. the TCG until I finish this, I guess, or do yeah. most of it. I don't know. I can search while I travel. That's it. No details. Nothing. Uh, not right now, since this meteor shower was originally something like a family legend. A long time ago, the Nagana Heart... Okay, I thought I was going crazy. No, no, you're not. It, it's definitely true. Dad says that inspiration... It locked me out of the TCG, uh, story, so I have to do this. People can tea while playing Genshin? I don't think... <laughs> hey, Brick Muppet, how are you? Tea while playing Happy Genshin. Happy Sunday. I can see this meteor shower. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with a new kind of firework. Oh, thanks for doing the shout-out part. I didn't. Mm. Oh, it does it all. Oh, that's right. You told me to do this setup. That, that it, setup that it does. Oh, it wasn't yeah. working earlier, but I guess it's working now. It did it both. That's cool. Oh, that's good. Meteors and... Wait. Oh, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. I didn't do it because I'm fighting something right now. Oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I just found Jet, and now we're gonna go. Of course, my main reason. Murder everyone. Yeah, no, no. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. And thanks again. I don't know if I said it last night because I was kind of tired, but thank you again for the bits at the very end there. I really appreciate it. Is it just me, or have you gotten wiser since we were? Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Since you're going out to play regardless, why not make Sumeru your first stop? Oh, okay. Sumeru. I've heard of it. It has a ton of trees, a super impressive school, and a massive desert. Well, it's good to have you back. Oh, well, thank you. Well, thanks, Mark. It's good to be back. I just, I'm, my schedule's gonna be a little chaotic because I'm trying to see, I think, I think having those late night things was also wrecking my, my sleep schedule anyway. Um, I'm trying to do something earlier. I mean, yes, it probably means less safety because he'll be at work most of the time during the day. <laughs> but it's not that he's not going to be around. I just, I, I, I mean, I, I, I feel more comfortable that I, I, I can also remember that he's physically right here. So, and um, even if he is working, if something does happen, he, he can still help me out. And I mean, yes, it limits on some of the fun stuff that you can do with him, like the story times and stuff like that. But I just want to start earlier and then he'll join later, if that makes sense. So I don't know. I'm still trying to work things out. I, I wanted to see about trying to stream on a Sunday, but I'm not sure if this is going to do it. Because I really, I mean, when today was so beautiful. It was like 55 and we went out for a walk and it was sunny, not a cloud in the sky. And it's like... We were just walking, and we can see the hills in the background. It was just... I don't know, being out in nature is just so relaxing for me. And I didn't want to come back. <laughs> but I'm like, no, I gotta get back so we can get ready. And, I mean, it cut off time, so I couldn't go and take a shower, so I'll take it afterwards. Um, but yeah, I was... It, I, I Mostly due to COVID and not, like, enjoying going outside and everything like that. Um, because I just felt really paranoid about going now because I didn't want to catch anything. I know it sounds bad, but I just didn't. We, we, we slacked on our exercise. We used to go out walking almost every day. And then during COVID, we decided to stream and that even cut off even more days of us <laughs> going out walking. So both of us have gained significant amounts of weight and my clothes are feeling it. 
So I'm like, you know, I need, I need to get better. I need to do better. I need to do better for myself physically, um, and emotionally, you know, and, um, I think everything, because everything is connected, uh, coupling the two of them, I just kind of, and I need to stop relying on. You can't play Genshin while stinky. <laughs> Stinky. It's I'm just. Stinky. I'm just not. You know. I'm stinky, but no. No, Safi, you're fine. Okay, um, but uh, it's not that I was. We just went for a, a stroll. It wasn't like a vigorous walk or anything. It wasn't like something that we broke a sweat. It was so cool and nice outside that I didn't really sweat. Um, so I'm not stinky. Always plays Genshin when I'm stinky. <laughs> uh, oh, but yeah. Um, does that mean you'll be streaming earlier? Yeah, I probably might be. I mean, like I said, it just really depends. I don't think we should be streaming till past uh, past nine p.m. our time anymore. Um, I I might start. I I just don't know yet. I mean, I've tried three o'clock. It's and then yesterday we had the doctor's appointment, so I had to push it to four because we didn't even get home till three thirty. And so I originally it was going to be three and then three and then noon and try noon and see what happens. And noon was fine, except I can't do a lot of stuff in the morning like I usually do my usual routines, which is, you know, relax with a cup of tea and unwind and uh, wake up, basically. <laughs> but yes, I, I, I want to, I just want to get back into shape, being in shape, you know. Um, that's all. I, I just... I'm tired of being pudgy. <laughs> I don't know. There's also a division of the school that specializes in starting, setting the stars. Oh, cool. Yep. And everyone there is really smart, so Paimon's sure you'll get some answers from them about the meteor shower. It's fun to see someone who is so enthusiastic in me school. Yeah, she's very really happy. She's, this is very fitting. Because they're really good at telling really sad stories, but this one is like... Her stories have been really peppy. Peppy. Peppy is a good word for that. Well, she does anyway. <laughs> she's so smug, and then she's like, wait, no, I mean her. I doubt this is in your schedule. It's fine this way. Your parents can be at ease. Exactly! Relax, Yarnia. You've helped us plenty of times before. <laughs> I'm waiting for the hammer to drop. Then I accept your offer. Let's have... You mean where it's gonna... Where you're gonna I mean, there's crying? some serious, there's some serious story bits in there, but it has a good resolution. Hmm. Oh yes, your mother and I will be much more at ease. Story, I did so. not know Yoimi. I had her, her mom still around. Yes, Yoimi's so mom's alive. <laughs> okay, let's head to Rito and catch a boat there. I'm so glad I don't have to play TCG to get all the event rewards. Yeah, I. I really, really don't like TCG. <laughs> I, but I'm like, I, I'll deal with it if I have to right now. Fire brigade notification. Wait, what? This is a fire hazard? <laughs> what? What is that? Where am I reading? Oh, billboard. Oh, it's this thing. Really? Right in front of her house? Stay safe and have fun. So they keep all the fireworks by their home. So if someone were to come by and like throw a cigarette butt, their house is like totally. Yeah, this may that. be a bad idea. Yeah, that so. that is a very bad idea. That's very you unsafe. You think they keep their workshop a little farther away from their main residence? Hello, uh, Omni Thag. Welcome to the Bamboo Forest, and thank you for the follow. Do you also play Genshin Impact? Uh, yeah. I think you. There's only for this event. I think you only need to play the um. The, the I think it's only this one, the Zero Hour, so it's only four games uh, with um, Amber, Shingcho, uh, Ayaka, and uh, Kole. So, and you don't even have to do the Serious Showdown, you can just do the easy one, because the, the Serious one only gives you Mora and some things, and like, I guess, bragging rights, but I am not good at this game, I hate card games in general. Um, Safty loves card games, but he doesn't like this game. He says it's very... He thinks it's poorly designed. 
It's got too, too much RNG. Many, yeah, too much RNG. Too much RNG on top of RNG. It's like um, they are obsessed with their RNG. Yeah, yeah the and you have to get and like you have to get card. You have to give up your card advantage to make up for poor dice rolls. Mm-hmm. So, so see, I can't dice, do the yeah, I can't the, do this quest because I can't. The outcome of the game, you know, the, the outcome of a serious match. Yes, your deck construction is important, but you have to put in a lot of card. You have to little. You have to put in a lot of cards that make up. You have to waste a lot of cards just to make up for that. For the smooth out your deck RNG, so that's kind of boring. There's not much interaction outside. Of your <laughs> God of gotcha. Yes, exactly. There's not much interaction that you can do outside of that, outside of your characters. Um, the Lord of Passenger Ship, sorry. For, oh, shoot, it's... Uh. <laughs> Yamiya listens with uh, rapt attention as you tell her of the events following the Vision Hunt decree and of the various adventures in Sumeru. The long voyage ends before you know it. Oh, that's such a cute picture of them, you know? Anyway, sorry. Go ahead, Safti. I didn't mean to... I just... Because it came up. And I'm oh, like, no, no, you're fine. This is more important. Is I'm just really? bitching about the TCG. Yeah, design. no, you're fine. Hello, Ra Rangex? Rang I, I, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, but hello. Welcome to uh, Bamboo Force. Hey, guys. I am Panda Giddy, and this is Safti Kuma. Kuma! Oh, hi! Fighting it, I missed the... I missed bra. The, her bra face? Wait, bra. she had a bra face? Oh, uh, well, hello. Uh, I have a friend almost skipped the event altogether, believing it was all about TCG. I know, right? I was just I mean, like, I was dreading it when I when they announced the event, it. I was like, no. I mean, the event story is about the TCG and part of the side yeah. quest, you think, are TCG related. But it's, yeah, you can don't have to do too much. I don't blame your friend, by the way, Murhan, because yeah. TCG Yeah, the update sucks. is very TCG. Mm-hmm. They brought out, like, how many cards? 20? 20 characters? Yeah, there, are, yeah there, are a lot of, there are a lot of changes to the TCG. Mini game with the random deck is... Yes! Random exactly! Deck. I liked it at first when they had give you all Omni die, but after, uh, after, um, Liwa... Yeah. yeah. Oh, have a good lurk! I yes, woke yes. up late. It was oh, literally we more fun. Uh, uh, oh yeah, have a good, have a good, um, yeah. Aaron running. It was, it was literally cool. more fun the first two things with the Omni, with all Omni dice. You didn't have to worry about the dice. Yeah, the Omni die was perfect. If that's how it always had to be, I would be yeah. okay. I would be okay with this, but it's not. Yeah. So the, like, the first like imagine, so, so imagine, so if you play Magic, here's, here's how I think of the dice system. Imagine if you're playing Magic and you're playing blue-white, <laughs> and you're playing blue-white, but there are forests in your deck for no reason. That's, that's the dice rolls. That, that, that's the right dice rolls, like, you can't avoid getting dice you don't even need. It's, it's horrible. It's just... Yeah, it, it's not a good... It, it... No, I got a better one. You got a better one of what? Sorry, I'm like, huh? Oh, <laughs> thank you for the boop. <laughs> that tree's huge! Is the port built on top of it? Oh, it was a tree. It has trees in a tree. Yes. And this place is amazing! It's way bigger than Rito's port. There are also a lot more stores here. Oh, there's more cool stuff for you to see. Don't you worry! Oh, you're surrounded by an entire Jedi Council, and basically you're a stormtrooper. <laughs> oh, is that what you're, you're, is that your, um, act, your, your, um, sorry, your, um, metaphor for TCG? Is that what you're, yes, 100%, okay, got it. <laughs> That's quite a, a metaphor, I would have never thought of that, that sounds... That sounds accurate. Yeah, I would have never yeah. thought that. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's pretty, 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 uh, pretty right. accurate. Yes. Like. Yeah. So, yeah, so in most card, card games, you're you're bound by the randomness of your deck, sure. Yeah. But this is coming from Safdie. You're, who's... By a, you're bound by another level of randomness on top of that. <laughs> but see that. Where you can get a complete like you could have a great hand and you're like this is an amazing hand and then you roll the dice and get like dice of the characters dice of elements you can't even use exactly like okay so even if you re-roll yeah safety safety's complaining and he hates this tcg but he's played magic the gathering since the 90s since 1990 what five or something maybe 94 94 he's played magic the gathering he still plays that game he still loves that game that's where most of his i don't like uh, the shuffler free, 
well, okay, but that's where mo- um, he's not like a hundred percent like um, in love with it, but it has you know hiccups there too. But like, that's where all his most of his free money does go to that game versus like this game. And when he thought when 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 he they announced originally that the TCG was coming, he was kind of excited about. It, but when he started playing, he's like, "This is shit." He's like, "This is this is crap. This is this is not a this is not a good design." And he was just so mad at it. And he's like, I'm not playing this again. And he just stopped playing it. And I'm like, okay. So I stopped playing it too. You know the also very strange thing Dendro about the Dice game. when you had two t- <laughs> Also the very strange thing about the game. Darn, that sucks, Fido, because you know how she, in, in the in the store, she was all like, I'm going to get a six pyro die. I guess, um, I guess her luck ran out. <laughs> and here's the strange thing. Imagine being, sorry. imagine being Kazaha and they're like, hey, Kazaha, what do you think of this, 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 uh, Hey Kazaha, check out this card game that you happen to have a card. There, someone made a card of you. Like, like that's just in universe. It's kind of bizarre. Like literally, like you're walking by and someone has put you in a card game without your permission. I know, right? Did they ask for permission for their for the likeness on a card game? Like, and, why am I in this card game? And Where there's am I that royal? meme. But there's that meme also that you know, uh, Venti and and Zhang Li's identities were outed. You know, it's like, wait a second. Do they realize that they're, they're on a card right now when they were trying to hide their identities? Yeah, yeah who made this? It's funny because the two male archons right now are, are, you know, incognito and the two females are out in the open. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you di- you died when you saw that one? Yes, I know. I was like, oh my it God, that is too it funny. It make sense, which is why this game should have been its own thing. Yeah. Because in universe, it actually, for all the great writing, all the great writing in this game, all the well put out lore, they didn't think, isn't it kind of weird? Aren't people going to be weirded out that there's cards of themselves? Like someone went around making cards of all the summonable characters. How did they know to yeah, do Yeah, how, this? why are they playing decks? I mean, I guess you could do an in lore, I guess you could do an in lore explanation where they're just like, they're like compiling and they're compiling information <laughs> on all people who have visions to turn them into cards, but still. Oh my god. I gotta pin that. That's too funny. Yeah. Anyway, I need to step away to Little Bear's room, so I'll oh, be right yeah, back. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll continue <laughs> But yes, I think overall this, um... This... The, the, the TCG was badly designed in this game. I mean, I wouldn't know it offhand. I just didn't enjoy it, because I don't like card games. But then Safdie goes on this long, long rant um, and explaining all the minute details about why this game is so bad. He's not just sitting here like, it's bad. You know, he just, he explained every little thing to me, and I'm like, smile and nod, and then I'm like, okay, if you say it's bad, then it's bad, because he loves card games, so I, who am I to judge? I mean, I don't like him, he likes him, and if he's saying this, and I'm not saying he's right, I'm just saying I, I agree with him, because he's my husband, so. And I don't really like card games, so I'm just like... I'll just take what you're saying and be like, yeah, I'll run with that because I don't really want, I don't get it. My brain doesn't work that way. My brain doesn't calculate and 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 do all the little, you know, if I use this and plan this and if this and and my you know, opponent uses this, then I can make sure I can counter that with this. That I can't I can't do that. I'm not one, I'm not like a I'm not a um competitive gamer. So, even if it is against a NPC, I'm not like I don't like one on ones. That makes me nervous and anxious too. So yeah. I'm challenging you to a game of Paradox Billard's bus bus train roulette fourth dimensional hypercute chest <laughs> What? Oh man, I wonder what he'll react to when he gets back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <laughs> I'm finishing the last of my tea, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wonder what Safty's gonna react to that. <laughs> uh, almost to also took my breath away when I first arrived. This place is awesome! I had heard people describe it, but nothing beats seeing a place for yourself. Definitely. Hey, look! I saw you were online earlier. Um, how are you? 
Oh, I didn't hit auto. That's right. Okay. I've seen the port with my own eyes. I could never have imagined such a place. So I'm currently doing Yoimiya's story. Academia? Is it here? Nope. We have to head north from here and follow the river to reach Sumeru City. Sumeru City, huh? I guess it's even more impressive than here. They each have their own highlight. The city has an even bigger tree. It's a land of never-ending thesis. Thesis? The, the, the... Is that how you say it? The, the, yeah, anyway. Uh... I like the bigger tree. city. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited that I don't even know what I should be doing anymore. The important thing about going on a trip is to enjoy yourself. The other bad thing about the TCG event is Safti said the story. I haven't done it yet, obviously, because I have to finish this first. It's locked um, until you finish Yoimiya's, if you unlock it first. If you don't touch Yoimiya's thing, then I don't think that it will get in your way. But I unlocked it, and so now I'm stuck. Um, uh, I heard that uh, he said that the TCG story is horrible. <laughs> they could have thought of better, you know, they, 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 they're they really good at storytelling with these characters and everything and the main story, but they did not put the same effort or the same team or whatever, uh, same creative minds in doing the TCG story, and he's like, this is crap. I haven't finished it, I just did part one. Oh, yeah, see, I did part one and then part two's locked because of uh, Yoimiya's quest. So, um, yeah, uh... I haven't done that either, so <laughs> I, I, I want to get this one done and then I'll go work on that, but yeah, it's just, it's stinky that they have to lock it like this. I'm good, how is the panda bear couple doing? Oh, uh, we're good, um, Safti stepped away to use the little panda's room, so he's not here right now. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was saying earlier, we, today is so beautiful. I feel bad that you're suffering in heat because we are gonna have the heat next week. We're gonna hit 90s again, which is like, um... 90 plus, so that's hitting around, uh, 35 Celsius, um, but yeah, um, it's gonna get really hot next week, so I'm enjoying, we went outside for a walk, and it was really nice, and, and there was a breeze, um, but it, the wind is supposed to pick up, we're supposed to get 35 to 40 mile per hour winds <laughs> later today, um, so I'm not looking forward to that, but, because <laughs> we're in the valley, um, between the mountain ranges, so, um, it's gonna get windy, so, yeah, well, yeah, that next week's gonna be hot for us, but, um, right now it's nice and cool, it's like, um, I think high 60s right now, which is maybe mid-20 Celsius, uh, maybe low 20 Celsius, I don't know, I know, that's like, that is like kite flying, I mean, I know that's nothing compared to what you guys deal with down there, uh, five, but, for us, it's actually pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, well, because of, of the way our apartment is situated, it's like a wind tunnel, so when the wind blows that fast through here, all we hear this woo sound, and it's so annoying, because it sounds like that ghosty sound, and it's just like, woo, it's like, ah, stop, you know, um, but yes, enjoy it till you can, yeah, we're enjoying it, we're trying to, we went for a walk for like a half hour before the stream, yeah, spooky, spooky. <laughs> It was, it was, it, it's annoying, though, because it's like a high-pitched, like, whirling sound, and I hate it. I don't, that's why I don't like it when it gets really, um, windy like this. But, yeah, I see a lot of people actually, um, during t days like this, going out and flying kites and stuff. Does that make me a bad father? I would 100% pretend to be a haunted... <gasps> I would be so scared... <laughs> But I, I can see that being funny, Fi. I can see that being really funny to you. <laughs> but that might traumatize your kids. <laughs> I, at least I would find that you mean a great one. <laughs> it doesn't make you a bad father, no. I, I, as long as you correct it and just be like, yeah, it's not real. You're just, you're just pretending and... I mean, okay, for an example. <laughs> Fi, of course you use that emote. Um, for example... Um, for the longest time, I believed my mom when she used to cook, uh, live lobsters, you know, she would have a big pot of water and she would take the lobster and, you know, slowly dip it into the hot boiling water. And, uh, I remember watching her one time and I was like, 
I heard this whistling sound, and I was like, what is that? What is that, Mom? And she's like, oh, it's the lobster screaming for its life. And I was like, and I cried. I cried. I just, I just bawled, and I, I can't eat lobster still. I just cannot eat lobster. Not because I just don't like the smell anyway, and I, I'm sure it's good, but I just, because my mom, she just started laughing, and she never really corrected me until I got old enough to look it up my, or, you know, find out that it's actually just the pressure inside the shell from, like, being cold, you know, or normal temperature to boiling. Yeah, it's steam, yes, I know it's the steam, but I, when you're, like, what, five, four, five, six years old, you don't know the difference. You just ask, like, wait, why is that, why is there a whistling sound coming from the, the lobster? So I'm just giving an example, Fi, that how that is, like, that can be traumatizing, <laughs> depending on the child. I mean, if the child knows that you are just being kidding and joking eventually, you know, then that's fine. But I did not know my mom was joking at the time, so. Um, <laughs> I mean, obviously now I know. I mean, I'm, I've, I've, I've learned that that's, that's not true. But yes, um, for the longest time I did think it was true. So that's why. <laughs> It's really different. I can't. I can't say how it will affect your kids. Oh, thank you for the head pads. But yeah, welcome back, Safty. But yes, I can't say how it will affect your kids because I don't know your kids. <sighs> but hopefully, they know that their dad is a, a jokester and just having fun with them. And if they don't, hopefully, you'll reassure them that you were just joking <laughs> and not sit there and reinforce that you are not joking. Uh, I thought you were about to say she ate the lobster. <laughs> Somehow that's more terrifying now. <laughs> oh my god, why? Uh, um, I'm reading the whole conversation, and instead of FBI, open up, it's CPS, open up. Oh god. Uh, well, I was just, cause, you know, Fai was saying he wanted to make ghost, or, uh, ghost sounds. Um, because you know how I, I, was, I was saying we're going to have 30 to, 35 to 40 mile per hour winds later today? And then the only bad thing about, I mean, it's not bad. It's a nice breeze, but if you're just like enjoying it, but because we, where we live, where we're situated, it makes that woo sound because of the wind tunnel and it's so annoying. But then he's like, does it make me a bad father that, you know, he would pretend to be a ghost around his kids. And I'm like, I, I can't say because it you're. Depends, you're depends on the context, but I'm not going to judge how you raise your kids as long no. as they stay off my goddamn lawn. <laughs> hey, Safty, that's mean. <laughs> Make the wardrobe's doors magically open. <laughs> Good luck. Oh man. <laughs> I'll never say that to my daughter when she grows up. Oh no, Goofy. Yeah, here, here's how technology ruins it for you guys when you control your kids. They'll probably just think it's some like Bluetooth powered door. Oh, um, just for that, that the the to go, the your slightly the too. Are just, <laughs> and the ghosts are just Siri malfunctioning or some shit. Oh my god, come at me, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Oh man. <laughs> You're gonna mow my. I don't actually have to. No, no, the poor grass. I still think grass is a waste of land to me. I think there's so much more, more beneficial things that could be planted there than grass because grass doesn't really give back. It takes. It doesn't give back really. It, okay, it gives back in that it looks pretty, but it's just it's just appearance. I think more trees and more like natural natural stuff that grows in the area, whatever's uh, whatever's um, naturally occurring in the region, should thrive there because well. Yeah, I want a clover. Oh yeah, clover lawn. That those are nice. Oh, or like moss. That, yeah, that might be hard to maintain where he is. That yeah, that probably definitely. actually be easier to maintain where we are. Here. Yeah, probably because uh, I I think when they get drenched there because doesn't it? Don't you guys get a lot of pre precipitation? I, I mean, we do too, but we generally don't. Like raise goats in my backyard. That would be really interesting because they're natural lawn 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 uh lawn mowers really. Yes, exactly. There you go. We had the same mind. But, go with but, but sometimes go with they can be annoying and loud at the same time. So Go with alpacas because people like 
I'll pop it <laughs> in the uh, arcade, I guess. We have rampant vesicle grass. I don't know what that means, but um, I know that south of us, where we are in, in, in Oregon, is like grass seed capital of the country or something. They they say they are. They say they grass are. seed capital of the I country. I don't know what kind of grass, but it says that they're grass seed capital. I'm just like, huh? I think alpacas are. Well, I guess it may depend on the species of goat, but I think alpacas are larger than wild tall. Oh, okay, wild tall general. southern grass. I don't know what kind of grass we have here. It just—it's green grass. I don't know. I don't know. Are alpacas quieter than goats? Do you think? I, think I they don't are. think they make much sound because They're remember very when we noisy visited. Animals. Yeah, remember when we visited uh, Dr. Matz and he uh, their farm. They were not loud. Yeah, they, they were not loud animals. They may be better than ghosts in that respect, too. But yeah, they are relatively bigger. They're like, they're smaller than a horse, obviously, but um, they they stand a little taller. They were taller they're, than me, and I'm five they're foot. They're similar or, to uh, just llamas. Under five foot. They're, they're, they're similar to they're llamas. They're smaller than llamas, though. Smaller. Yeah, smaller than <laughs> Hey, Google, are alpacas low? That's a good question. Yeah, I, I don't. I was only around them for like maybe 10, 15 minutes, but they were not braying or making any noise, so better. If you're south enough, get a large tortoise. They're so sweet. Aww. I, 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 I do like tortoises are cute. Yes. They do yelp sometimes. Oh, alpacas do? Okay, yeah. I, I'm sure they don't, they don't I'm make, sure they make some sound. sort of noise, but I just never heard of... Uh, I never heard any sounds coming from them when we were hanging out with a bunch of them. Um, we had a doctor that had a alpaca farm, and they they had like I think twenty alpacas on that farm, and uh, we would visited them, and their tongues feel really weird. He put he dumped some feed on my uh, hand, and just said, "Hold out your hand," and they came running to me, and they were just like, blah, 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 blah. "I'm like, oh my god!" It was really weird. It was just, ugh. <laughs> At the same time, it was cool. It was cool, but it was like, ugh, at the same time. But anyway. Oh, you're, one of your guys in the area has pacas. Oh, neat, 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 neat. Here is what I got. Alpacas make a variety of sounds. When they are in danger, they make high pitch. Oh, that makes sense. Some breeds are known to make a warp. Oh my gosh, so they're like chocobos. <laughs> they almost are saying, they almost sound like, they're like chocobos if they make warp sounds. <laughs> warp. <laughs> Oh my you might mistake, put a put a fake beak on it. You might mistake it for a chocobo. True, true. Not real. There was a company that bought billy goats to eat the grass for free mowing. They tried to quick sell the goats to hide the fact that they started jumping on people's. <gasps> oh no! Really now? Oops. Well. Yeah, I guess they can say, "Oh, yeah, something, some big rock hit your car instead." Not, not, not the goat jumping on it. Why is, Why the is there goat droppings on my car then? Uh, no, that's <laughs> dirt. Know. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. How about we walk around? Obviously, here? just because alpacas might be tamer than goats doesn't mean you can't. Yeah, hoof marks. Yeah, you have to take care of them. They're like, that's not a, that's not a hoof mark. That's a rock. That's a, a big, big hail. There you go. It, it was a hail, depending on where you are, I guess. Because I've seen, like, I've heard that when tornadoes, especially in the tornado country area, hail can get to the size of, like, I don't know, a, a baseball or something. I'm like, <laughs> softball. Softball, you softball? Softball's even bigger, yeah. It'll buff right out. <laughs> bigger than a baseball. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I've only seen... The biggest hail that I've seen has been, like, pea-sized. And I'm like, yeah, that's big. That's that's already big. I don't want anything hitting me that's bigger than that. And then I see, like, weather pictures on it. Because I, I, I regularly look at weather.com because, you know, I find weather fascinating and scary and cool at the same time. So, yeah, I'm like... Some people take these pictures of hail, hail ball, uh, hail, whatever fell, and they put a quarter next to it. I was like, what is that? That's, that came from the sky? Oh my god. I mean, then I'm like, are you sure that's not made up? That's not fake, right? That's real? Yeah, I guess mm -hmm. it's real. I'm like, a rock? So big that if it hits you, you're probably a gone. Oh, one of those. Okay. Yeah, they can be pretty big. 
Well, I mean, if you think of the velocity coming from the sky, you know, and gravity, that makes sense that it would knock you out. Dime size hit. See, yeah, that sounds a little more reasonable. Oh, they're gonna take my. Fa Yay! Okay, yes, that sounds great. I'm glad. Enjoy your walk, Goomba Smasher. You too. You too. Enjoy your walk. It's it. Hopefully, it's beautiful where you are. We frequently get dime size hail. Oh, sorry, I already read that. Um, but yeah, um, dime size is just a little bigger than a pea size, I think. But yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we don't usually get the big hail. Thankfully, we don't. But we mostly get little tiny, bitty pellets, like nothing, like they're nothing to I sneeze at. I wouldn't want to be hit by it, but no, no, but. Feel free to have a look. Oh my gosh, those are such those are really accurate looking Aranaras. This is our current best seller, the Aranara carving. These are cute. Can we get one for our house? Designs are based on the fairy tales that circulate amongst children. They're not fairy tales. They're real. Miss. They're real. Are you from Inazuma? Well, this would be a great gift for you to bring back home. How do you know that from her outfit? She could just be cosplaying. You two told me about them on the ship. I didn't think they'd be so cute. No wonder the kids like them. On a 1v1, me and Paradox Builders is supposed to be in the real life. Wow, you remembered that whole entire thing. Dimensional hypercube chest strip poker. Oh, did you read that part, Safty? Uh, we were wondering what your reaction would be. I might have a hard time seeing a real Aranara. Um, if I said Why? that earlier when you were uh, AFK. About wait wait what? About the TCG. Oh, uh, your game was your your game was probably at least a little more well designed than Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> Sorry, he missed it, I guess. But yeah, there's an idea in event where all the nations cosplay other nations. You go to Monster and everyone's dressed as, up as Inazumans. Yeah, that would be really funny. I wonder how Toma would uh, take that, though. Be like, what the fuck? He's like, wait a second. <laughs> They're like, you know, Zunam fashion's all the rage now, Toma. <laughs> oh my God. Like, he goes and gets an entire new outfit when he goes back home to Mondstadt. And everyone's dressed like he usually dresses, and like, yeah, you know, Zunam fashion's all the rage. <laughs> I would pay good money to see Venti like... cosplaying as Ra Raiden. Oh, oh, I'm sure that I'm sure that if you search the internet thoroughly, I'm enough, sure you'll there's find already that. something already out there. Oh, with that. It, yeah, the, it, it, search at your own peril. I mean, you you already know his original like uh, Archon outfit, right? I'm surprised they haven't brought out the Archon outfits. Because... You mean that one that looks like he's a, a male stripper? I don't say he's a male stripper. He just he's wearing like a bralette with little boy shorts, so. Raiden and Zhongli, oh my god, no! You can't be... Women can't be shirtless. I... wait, Zhongli, do you know? Because Zhongli's, uh... Archon outfit is shirtless, isn't it? Oh, yes. No! No! <laughs> wait! Nahida's Zhongli's outfit? But, but Nahida's flat, so I guess that's not that bad, because she's, Are we uh, talking she's about a child, his but no, for his he, normal she needs to be covered. Are you talking about his normal oh, suit? Oh, his current outfit. Okay, that would be cute. I think that would be that would adorable. I, I, I like anybody in suits, though. I think that's what drew me to Zhongli originally, but I also like his personality. But, uh, I like, I like suits, and they can be in any gender. I just like suits on people. With an oversized really? pop popped collar. collar. <laughs> That'd be funny. 80s style, oh no. Safty's like, I approve. Okay, go on. <laughs> go on, yeah. <laughs> He doesn't like. Uh, they don't like to be just dis being disturbed. That's why we told her they're from fairy tales. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Yoimiya. But we need to keep our promise to the Aranara. Oh, thank hydrate. you for the hydrate. Hydration. And hey, chocolate disco. Would mind too much. Her world's already chock full of imaginary All right. creatures. One useless side quest away. Okay, I need to finish Caravan of Good and Evil. The other two that you showed me earlier. Two. You're buying that. Trying to get this and trying to get as much done before. Oh, we give them out to Psyche and the others. So oh, um, mustache. Oh, mustache, you. You guys like this. Luck, thing luck, too luck, much. luck, luck really likes that. 
here. It's great though. It looks really good. Oop, it went off. Oh, I hit it twice by accident. And the first thing you see are these adorable critters. When they brighten up your entire day. I am totally with Yoinia about the R and R. I want I want a carving myself. I you know, Mihoyo, that's a good idea. Why don't you actually manufacture these, make carvings of R and R? I'm sure some a lot of people would buy it. I have What's an idea your... for an item for your wardrobe. Uh oh. Is it a train? <laughs> is it a, is it train related by any chance? <laughs> just a pop. Just a pop. <laughs> How would that even work on a bear, though? I have no idea. Like you can probably put something around your neck and it flares outward, like Dracula or something. Oh, plushies would even be better. But yeah, like I mean, like the wood carvings would be nice to put up as a decoration. Let me cover the cost. They start your day on the right foot. Yes. <laughs> okay, thanks. In that case, you take your pick too. I'll go with this one. I would buy one. Yeah, they're cute. For some reason, Paimon thinks it kind of looks like you, Yoimiya. <laughs> I don't like you, Yoimiya. <laughs> I would buy my Thank kids R&R &R plush. Yay! Do slimes and fun fungi? Self yeah, slime, the, the, the little bongo head. Bongo poco, 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 bini. Poco, 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 bini. I would buy some them safty budgies. What? There you go. We can have mer merch in our channel and have like safty dolls. I don't know how to. I can't. <laughs> Does anyone know how to manufacture safty dolls? I can't. I don't know how to sew. I yeah. I I have no idea where to even begin. So. Safty, the most of it. <laughs> The most generic plush bear. Could you please package these up for Aramia? Oh my gosh, they called her Aramia instead of going Aramia. You would buy a safety doll and put it a pair of aviators on it? All of us would. <laughs> All of us would, oh my gosh. Of course. Thank you for your patronage. You all are a I hope you enjoy your time here in Sumeru. That is funny. Next up is Sumeru City. All right, let's get to it. Definitely glad they brought the R and R back for this. Yes. Oh, wait. They actually show up. Do they show up? Okay. Now Safety's being quiet, so that means yes. Uh, I said nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Safety's spoiling it. Yes. <laughs> I have said nothing. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. You literally I didn't say nothing. anything, but 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 that means it is something. Go back to coke like a good bear. <laughs> this is Treasure Street. Up from here. <laughs> oh, and in that tree trunk is the Grand Bazaar. They're both pretty special places. I just saw a group of people come down, and they were all wearing the same outfit. Is that the Academia's uniform? That's right! They also wear hats with different designs, depending on which Darshan they're in. For example, we'll be looking for someone from Wotalahis. They know a lot about stars and stuff. Wow, you remember that kind of stuff, Paimon? Uniforms like those to get in and out of the Academia? Uh, Paimon doesn't think so. Is something worrying you, Yoimiya? Um, won't we stick out if we go in like this? <laughs> Maybe you will. You think sh you stick out, period, but, you know. Shy, huh? No, no, that's not what I meant. <sighs> Let's pretend you're an academia student. Hard at work. Then in comes a bunch of outlanders in strange clothes who gawk and run around everywhere. Well, she's really considerate. Oh, Paimon kinda gets what you mean. We'll be a bit distracting, won't we? We might even attract the Matra's attention. I don't think we have to be too subconscious, but it's still something to keep in mind. Why don't we look around here first? I've been wanting to see the Zubair Theater anyway. Safti, do you ever plan on watching the Cocaine Bear? I might watch it at, at some point. I wasn't about to like drive off to the theater and go, oh yeah, let's watch this. <laughs> well, we never go to the theater anyway, so yeah. We'll find you a good tailor later. I might have some good recommendations. 
She might get along really well with Nilu. If we can watch a performance of hers while we're at it, that'd be even better. All right, I'll be looking around here. I'm leaving the meeting. Fair warning for both of you, it's got a lot of comical gore and blood. It's an over-the-top parody of... Yeah, I, I would figure lore. something like that. I wouldn't... I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Uh, go to the academia? I won't go too far. And don't worry about me getting bored. I'm an expert at finding ways to pass time. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm gonna go loot some... Steal some stuff from these hard-working people. Yes. Actually, you know, I'm gonna step away real quick because I need to use the little panda's room. So I will be right back. Everybody, please get up, stretch, do something, get like, some water, refresh, uh, snacks, refresh, something. Refresh and repair and recharge. Wait, don't play yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. Well, anyway. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. These parts are safe for sure. Something on your mind again? Let's work through it together. Two heads are better than one. These parts are safe for sure. 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 Ta-ta-ta! 
ってって一体どこからどこからどこからどこからどこから一体どこから一体どこから Hello, we are back. We have returned. <laughs> uh, see here what I missed. Um, just got this thing removed. I don't like the fact that you can do side quests before the main quest explored before reaching Inazuma and learn much about the R&Rs. And then in the <coughs> main quest, the traveler doesn't know what R&Rs are. Well, yeah, that's true, like what Fi said. Um, unfortunately, you can't have... You can't have... Uh, the way they came out with everything is... Like, for someone like Safti and I, or even Fido, that's probably played since the beginning, and we got everything current as they came out, it's different than, like, someone like uh, you, Luck, that just started and has, like, everything to do at once. You know, um... And... So, yeah, you can do all the side quests and exp exploration. But, yeah, anybody can actually step into Sumeru um, by various means. You can get into there without having to Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. there's, nothing, the stopping story. there's yeah. nothing stopping you from I going to... Unlike Inazuma, where they try to keep you out. 
Yeah, I know a lot of new players that would actually, because, you know, they were told that a Dendro Traveler is really strong. So a lot of people just snuck into there, to, you know, interact with the statue, got Dendro, and then just continue on their way of uh, finishing the quests and everywhere else. Because, like, yeah, Dendro is really, really good, especially if you don't have another Dendro character. Next. How about I take you um, a Dendro Traveler, anyway, not just a Dendro character, but yeah. Nowadays, there's just so many Dendro characters that you may end up pulling one on the standard or something, or when you're pulling others. <laughs> Yay! Wigglies! Okay, so I was leaving... Oh, and I need to go up there. Okay. What's the quickest way to there? Is it this one? I think it's this one. It's hard to tell what level the everything is, you know? I know they added on the main map, but I don't think they have done it here yet. The portals? We said we were gonna find someone from Wakalahis, but now that Paimon thinks about it, no one really fits the bill. Well, the previous Vitalis sage was Azar. Oh, that's why. Layla's probably having a, a tough time right now. That's true. Paimon thinks all Hazel might know something, but Paimon doesn't want to talk to him. <laughs> I feel that. Not want to talk to. Someone from Wakalahis. <laughs> Looks like you two are in the pickle. Why not? Oh, it's Nahida! Yay! Hey! What? Thanks for the scare. <laughs> I'm here to meet with some researchers, but when I saw you two looking so troubled, Layla's having a bad time now. She's getting a bath and isn't loving it. <laughs> Looks like I showed up just in time. Okay, we might as well tell you. <laughs> I have a friend who's come to Sumeru. Hmm, I see. She's so cute. That it's gonna be a long time before the next meteor shower. <laughs> um, my answer is going to be even more of a disappointment. He just got your back. I've really heard that the stars are related to people's fates. Hmm. Or. Yeah, lots of times. If the stars dictate destiny, then do you think that destiny is something that is unchanging and always follows predicted outcomes? Yeah, you have a point. If that were so, the Ritawas would have achieved one or of their ultimate goals. According to current Ritawa history research, a meteor shower is a celestial phenomenon that occurs due to the interference between many intricate fates. Their appearance is highly random. Some have tried coming up with ways to predict their occurrence, but the results are less than reliable. This is a far cry from folk tales that claim meteor showers come at certain times and bless all who witness them. So, you mean we won't be able to see one? I'm sorry to disappoint you two. If we tell this to Yoimiya, she'll be so disappointed! Aww. She's been excited this entire time. This is... this was a rare trip abroad for her. What now? be something we can do. Uh, I, I, I pause it. They always go too fast for me. <laughs> Yomi is always genuine with everyone, and she does her best to protect the dreams of children. Just like the time she hung out with the kids on the beach and talked with them about the great Ujina yokai. These these images are so cute. Yeah. yeah and now, great. when she's the one who wants to see something, her fire has to be extinguished like this. You two okay? It seems the news hit harder than I expected. Paimon just thinks this isn't fair to Yoimiya. Good people should be repaid their good deeds. Yeah, that's true. I get it. From how you described her, I can see that she is a kind and caring soul. So, why don't we take a page out of her book and protect her dreams with a well-intentioned lie? Aww. How do we do that? It'll be a story about a meteor shower. You'll accompany her on a brief journey, do a bit of work here and there, 
and then receive the meteor shower as a reward. Oh, well, I can't summon a real meteor shower, but if it's in a dream, I can help out. Oh, Nahida to the rescue. Thank you so much. Yeah, Nahida. Mm -hmm. This is nothing. Best grass lolo. Mm hmm. Use the meteor shower. Only grass lolo, but still. Best. <laughs> Then, when you're ready, blow this. Blow this. Oh, cute! Man, it reminds me of now that that, that meme comic of Kazuha stealing ahogays and using them for whistles. Okay. Oh, God. Have you seen those? There's this artist that has turned Kazuha into a meme about stealing I, I people's ahogays. No, you haven't. Actually, I, I've, I've posted maybe, some of I them. Thought maybe I forgot about it. But this is so funny. <laughs> I like how it's a little like leaf. I'll tell the R and R in advance. Oh, cute! Story. I'm sure they'll be willing to help. Huh? Aww. Rio will probably be like the one we had in the Avidia Forest when we first met Hapasia. That was a real shocker. It was hard to tell that we were even in a dream. Yeah, only later did we realize Once that. Once the meteor shower ends and you all awaken from the dream, she'll probably realize what had happened. If you tell her the truth at that point, she should be a lot less disappointed. Mm. Hmm. Paimon thinks this is the best way to simulate the meteor shower. Thanks, Nahida! <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Oh my god, you know I just realized? You two should get this story. I turned on stream avatars and I never turned it on on. I am so sorry. Oh wow. Oh, wow. You're well, right. <laughs> well, here they come. I'm sorry. I am. Um... Unleash the pandas. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel so about? bad. I'm so sorry. Wait, why are you bombing Thank me? Thank you, Luck. I'm sorry. You could have, yeah, you could have asked. I had it turned, like, the program turned what? on. Why is I bomb? <laughs> what the hell? Why are but you I bombing totally me? I totally forgot to hit uh, connect. You know, the connect button. I was sitting here like, there's something missing. <laughs> I deserve that, Ron. I totally deserve that. But yeah, I was like, something is missing. Why? What is missing? And I just, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm like, oh, I forgot to turn it on. Ah, I'm sorry. See, scuff, scuff in the stream. How? 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 Wait, how, wait yeah. what did that attack? <laughs> oh my God! Wait, what? They're all coming or going towards. Oh, yeah, I'll beat you up! <laughs> You're beating up Alucard. <laughs> mm. Clearly you didn't see that one episode of the Castlevania anime. Yeah, totally. Um, <laughs> be super convincing on how we sell it. Complete some challenges and then reap the rewards. If Paimon to go see a meteor shower, the things Paimon would focus on the most would be. Uh oh. Let's let's see if the Alucard uh, sprite gives me a uh, special ability. <laughs> Panda versus Alucard. What the heck is that? He's you attack with your cape. And so oh, he's got that cape. that's hilarious. Now it's bigger. <laughs> oh, it's the, he's got his sword. Oh, it's a sword. Oh, crap. Wow, ouch. I'm literally eating popcorn right now, so this is hilarious. Uh oh. Well. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Congrats, Fido. Clearly, I need to level up more. Okay, anyway. Congrats on winning your duel. Nobody got any gold, but sure. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. That's so funny. Out of curiosity, does that um, mass scale thing reset after a time normally, or do you have to do that yourself? The resetting. The perfect vantage point. Exactly! We'll say we're trying to figure Oh, you have to manually do it? Uh be bringing your Nia around to see this oh it does reset okay okay oh well easier said than done we can't be too strict with our pretext but we can't be sloppy with it either or she'll see through it 
It'd be best if we could take a unique approach to making it fantastical, just like a real fairy tale. Hmm. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> this reminds me of the plane of Euthamia, when stars symbolizing wishes appeared in the sky. Oh, that's right. Oh. Um, don't people also talk about wishing on a shooting star? If we used wishes as the center of our story... A meteor shower is something summoned by people's wishes. Oh, that sounds great! All right then, we need a specific wishing spot or else the sky would be full of meteor showers. We need a certain device to find this location, just like the Ritawas requires their observational instruments. <laughs> he blew up Safi again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm being, I'm, I'm being attacked. I get it. Whatever. <laughs> this is shaping up to be the perfect. I looked at your trash can avatar. It has like no animations. Like the trash can be open or closed. As long as we get you, I mean, usually they have to be. They have to have more. I, um, I mean, complex I mean, uh, animations and I mean, in that they attack or to, It walk. doesn't have to be, but. You're literally just an open and closed trash can. And I don't know. Like, what? What are you? I, 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 uh... Yeah, I'm not sure. He was trying to find something that had more um, animations to to initiate. I don't know. Hmm. You're getting even smarter. Your brain always works so well when food comes up. <laughs> pretty well by now. No, it doesn't need a whole lot of animations, but it needs at least like a general like attacking animation or uh uh you know, just like moving around. Hey Akuma, welcome back. How are you? I'm okay. I'm just doing Yoimiya's story finally. <laughs> I'm a little behind. Um because I kind of got locked out of it. Uh oh, hey, I can do this now. Huh. Oh, because I have to go to Rito to investigate a card snatcher. Well, since this is not time locked, I should go and start this one. Something on your mind again? Let's work. I didn't. I was locked out of it earlier, but I guess it's unlocked. Oh, it's because it's right here. I see. But yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. Is just kind of hanging out here. <laughs> Look at the star. Who's the star? That's so funny looking. <laughs> Oh, it changed. Okay. Oh, now it's a carrot? Everywhere, from the moment you arrive in the harbor. Hmm. Oh, it's luck. <laughs> more more oh, yeah, luck was the, um... Every time we see the post some other vegetable. Broccoli, earlier. That's right. So little information that was so funny. I saw those vegetables, and I'm like, oh my god, that's too funny. So I have to add that. They invented the game after the god of wisdom gave them an... So the carrot is okay with the trash can, no? Well, it's a matter of finding enough, um, animations for it. I, the carrot, the vegetables came as a prepackaged <laughs> thing. But since there's nothing on the stream avatar's uh, downloads that resembles a trash can, we will have to manually make it. And, yeah, so this means the carrot has a tap. I guess so. Somebody developed that. So, that's not something that we put together. I just downloaded it. And, um... So the way that the, the stream avatars works is that you have to, you can go on Steam and look them up individually. Like you can look up all the ones they have, mostly Pokemon ones, but I'm not into Pokemon. I mean, I never really got into with the franchise. I know the basic stuff from the anime, but I never actually played any of the games. Um, and I know like the first generation stuff like Pikachu, who doesn't know, not know, you know, who does not, who doesn't not know Pikachu, you know. Why am I being challenged again? <laughs> <laughs> wanted to see a right. uh, la carte versus uh, a carrot. You're beating okay. up your vegetables. If a la carte loses to a carrot, then that's a problem. <laughs> You're a chow? Oh, is that? Uh, that's from the Sonic, right? Yeah, that's from Sonic. Oh, you played Sonic, or wait, Sonic Event 1 and 2. Oh, I've never played any game that had the chows on it, but... Safety said they're from Sonic games, and I'm like, oh, they're cute, so I'm gonna put them in. Hey, Ringo! Welcome back, how are you?
I'm just playing, uh, um, now I'm playing the TCG event story. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate! Oh, Safty, you won this time. So the carrot got chopped up. <laughs> It's going. Um, I'm just. It's Genshining. We're impacting the Genshin. Just impacting the Genshin. I don't, I don't know. Whatever a Genshin is. Seems like you can't. You can be the carrot. Yes, Safi can be the carrot. I guess. I didn't realize how small the carrot is, though. I thought. I, and that's another thing. You need to like change the sizes. Sometimes their default sizes are too small. <laughs> Banana. Sometimes their default sizes are too big or too small. Oh my gosh! Look at it hopping. That is so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, the vegetables came in one big, or vegetables and fruit came in its own Steam uh, Stream Elements uh, package so that I can just download. That's the easiest way to get them. But like the panda, Safty had to get it from the Sprite database and create it himself, which he said wasn't that bad, but I didn't understand any of it. So I left it to Safty and. That's why, um, that's why the pandas were there, and since he put so much effort into it, I was like, you know, they should be, I wanted just everybody to be pandas for a while, but then I was thinking about it during my time off, and I was like, you know, maybe I just let subs change, because, you know, they, 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 they pretty much pay for it, I mean, well, you know, right? But yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a confused. By, by, have you ever heard of the book The King of Invocations? I haven't read it, no. I've only heard of it. Well, it's a story about a young boy who gets possessed by the spirit of the Crocodile King and becomes a TCG player. What? Fascinating. I made sure to read it before... That doesn't sound fascinating. That sounds weird. ...speculated that the author of The King of Invocations is the boy who was possessed, while the true inventors of the game are the Crocodile King and Ibis King from the Legends. <laughs> Oh, have a good lurk, Fi. Exactly. Which is why the original author came. Hello, I watch Twitch five hundred five. Yes, Genshin yes. is here. Your 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 yes. nose is accurate, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the Bamboo Forest. <laughs> well, well then. Uh, anyway, Fido, I see you like like bowling and running. So. Do you see what? Fido's bullying. National festival. Got it. Bullying what? Bullying me then running. Oh, okay. And then running, yeah. You can be sure that the fox lady is behind all this. <laughs> Always blame Yai. Always. Yeah, Yai Miko. She's chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. Paimon can just imagine her eating some fried tofu as she instructs her. Editor I knew. I. Sh I um. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. You didn't have the new chat. I just don't recognize the name for some reason. I'm so sorry. Sounds like bosses are the same. But thank you for coming back. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just a little uh, tired. I just, I'm like, I watch Twitch 505. I don't recognize the name offhand, but. Yeah, yeah it doesn't say first time chatter. Yeah, but... it doesn't. Duel. I apologize. I'm sorry. My memory is horrible. Um, so don't mind. It's not you. It's just, it's totally me. My memory just sucks. Hmm. Where am I supposed to? Oh, okay. <laughs> Look how much better your pandas are. They are better, you think? The face sums up my expression. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. This trip is really paying dividends. Good thing. In confront with this one. What? Which one? Wait, in Forced to come on this trip oh, that panda. Yeah, there is that other panda. That's right. Oh, those turned out so small. Hmm. That's not on purpose. I need to fix that. The site, I didn't get the chance to oh, yeah. test them Traveler, Paimon, we meet again. The face of approval. Oh, okay. <laughs> he looks very intent. Paimon to introduce you. Seems like that's all Paimon's been doing these past few days. <laughs> anyway, this is Charlotte. She's a journalist from Fontaine. And this is A. She's, uh... She's Inazuma's Archon. Oh my god. That's so awkward. You mean her 
Excellency, the Almighty. <laughs> That's what most people say. Yeah, it's a very intense face. <laughs> Hello. Please forgive me for not recognizing you. I. <laughs> <laughs> As a guest from afar, there's no need to be so formal. Oh no, my glasses are falling uh, apart again. Okay. I, I felt like they were slipping from my oh. face. Each of your acquaintances is more impressive than the last. Ugh. Not an old stay together. Experience the fun and festivities along with everybody else. Hold on a second. Oh, Paimon gets it. The tournament venue is full of excitement. I need to get more tape. Food. And Miko didn't want you to miss out. I guess I'll let you catch up for now. Look at me. Okay. More tape? It's in my. It was in my purse from yesterday. Oh, it's still in your purse. Oops. Yeah. Here you, Charlotte. Okay. Can you read any chat, Safdie? I'm sorry, I can't. Okay, well... Perhaps. Face of approval, that's what most people say. No one can beat me at the staring contest. These eye sockets have not been closed for days. They look like they haven't been closed in days, for sure. places we visited, too. So, how do you like Genius Invitation TCG? Hi, Mom bets you're enjoying watching the... Yeah, I wouldn't be able to beat that. That, that... Those eyes would be very, uh, intimidating. <laughs> We do know some. Be careful with the eye drops out there, though. Why is that surprising? <laughs> Playing cards is an ancient form of entertainment, and I was curious to see what card games are like in this day and age. How's the tournament been? I can barely see without my. I mean, I can't really see, but yes, I can't see without my glasses. So one moment, I'm trying to tape my glasses together because they fell apart last week. Unfortunately, um, the metal part snapped for some weird reason. Unknown reason. I have no idea why it did it. Intimidation is one of my specialties. That doesn't begin to. Oh no! It's yay. It's quite a humiliation. Speak of the devil, the fox, fox devil. Hold on. I'm still trying to get my Evil. glasses together. So hold on one moment. Sorry, there. There's gonna be a bit of pause in the story while I fix yeah. your glasses. Get my take glasses together. This is such a pain. Stay together, please. Thank you. It's a temporary thing because I, I'm afraid to use any kind of glue. I wonder if they can just remeld it or something because the metal is where it snapped off. But I don't know if... That five-tailed pink fox is me money. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I, I don't guarantee that you'll probably see that money. <laughs> she probably spent it all, all on uh, bowls of ramen. Fried tofu ramen. Yes, fried tofu. <clears throat> Excuse me. It sounds like something she'd do instead. And she'd be like, what money? Oh, this money? <sighs> well, that's too bad. I just ate a bunch of ramen with it. No, I just I, don't I know. It. Huh? God damn it. <laughs> I don't know. That's how I imagine how her her uh quote unquote excuse would be. <sighs> Stupid glasses. I hope the eye doctor calls back soon. It's been almost two weeks. Tuesday will be two weeks. Please call back. Please give me it. A new pair soon, something. This is really annoying. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's how my head cannon kind of plays out what she would probably do with your money. And, okay, now my glasses are back on. Uh, I and when I say loss, it doesn't begin to do justice. It was quite humiliating defeat. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll pretend sure. I didn't hear that. <laughs> I'll, I'll pretend I didn't. Because I was duped by her little tricks. What? I was duped by yeah, her little tricks. Yeah, I ain't tricks. Hmm. Hmm. Of the rules is better known as ingenuity. It's not my fault that some people spend all their time cooped up in Tenshukaku and never have the chance to hone their skills. <laughs> what a unique friendship. <laughs> huh. You're right, though. I should make an effort to get out more. Many things have changed now that Inazuma is at peace. However, 
It seems that some people can. Oh, who could sit? Hmm, who could have? Who could have saw that coming trickery from a pink box? I know, right? I could see totally, that. totally blindsided me. Hesitant to play their cards. Now, totally unexpected. Perhaps they were scared of what would happen if they defeated me. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Oh, eh. Oh, dear, dear. Other players lose their games and throw a tantrum. You win yours, and yet you still find a reason to mope about it. <laughs> oh, man. I invited you out for some simple fun and games. Oh, I should have known you'd be like this. Anyway, <laughs> you should watch and learn, because I plan on using some more of my little tricks to defeat that divine priestess from Watatsumi Island. Wow. Wow. That look. That look. On one side will be your erstwhile comrade in arms, the leader of Watatsumi Island, and on the other will be head shrine maiden Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. So, little one, who will you support? <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Coco and see what she says. Ah! <laughs> trying to find out whose lightning strikes faster? Miko. Oh no. No need to put them on the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just wanted to see how they'd react. <laughs> oh, the venue is right over there. Making making us squirm because, you know. Oh, and if you meet my Because they can. Do pass on my regards. Uh oh. Bet correctly, you don't want to lose your money too like me. <laughs> What money? <laughs> There's no money to lose. No kidding. Can you actually lose it? Do you actually get the bet? Miko, the people of Inazuma are afraid of me. Gee, I wonder why. No. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You would make even my first stand on end. <laughs> Miko's like, yeah, no shot. <laughs> Nor would I eat anyone. Yet a writer of mine seems convinced that I'd turn into an evil kitsune and eat him alive if he doesn't submit his tracks on <laughs> Honestly, Ouch. Where did they get these ideas? Hmm, although to be fair, after I learned that he was afraid of me, I did start acting like I might actually eat him. Uh, that's not helping your case. Now improving with each draft. Oh my gosh. That's torture. That is torture. That's just pure torture. Time's traveling with me. Okay, this is scary. There we go. <laughs> Wait a minute here. <laughs> this is illegal. <laughs> oh man. Who is the real one? I know, right? I'm the real one. Is this it's, the it's real It's like the Spider-Man meme. Is this just You just tragic? need a third one. My worst nightmare, oh, too, Tank Fox. <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> oh, no, it's Ito. Hey, compadre. Hey, man, it's me, Arataki Ito, and the Flying Lavender Melon. <laughs> Too long. Did you two compete in the tournament? Yeah. What would this tournament be without our Oh God! TCG champion Ito. Matter of fact, the whole Arataki gang showed up in force. Our goal to bring home the grand prize. You'll never know. My worst nightmare. Two pink fox hair ladies. Fox says. What, hey, that's not the point. What does the fox say? I got matched against a strong opponent in the first round. <laughs> 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 I could have swung either way. 
I wouldn't exactly call losing in three rounds a close match. <laughs> Ouch. Cut me some slack in front of my friends, okay? Anyway, it's not like you did much better. Weren't you beaten by that fish lady? Oh. Sandy Mama Mia. Sandy Mama Mia. What the? <laughs> He's like, wait, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, like, they call really? her Sandy Mama Mia? I don't have a problem with that. That was not in the Japanese It dialogue. wasn't? He's like calling her, I can't remember. He's like, not does something or other. Like, throw, peanut, throw peanuts at him. A wild Anya might appear and attack him. <laughs> oh, he's allergic to, wait, are, peanuts aren't beans, I guess. So. Yeah, no, they're not beans. Uh, you would have to throw, like, edamame beans or, uh... Uh, what's a good dry bean? I guess I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, she beat me fair and square. I don't have a problem with that. Well, anyway, I've noticed something in this competition. Sandy, Mama Mia! Oh my God! Style reasons, yes. I'm talking card backs. I lost my match because my backs were whack. <laughs> Don't have anything to do with each other. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's where you're wrong, Minnie Melon. Minnie Melon? Oh, gosh. Sony Kabuto have the brightest colors on their back. If your cards look cool, then you'll definitely draw a better hand. <laughs> Little fighting and playing TCGs are completely different. In cards, you have oh my goodness. to rely on your own skill. Uh huh. Yeah, there's no use arguing with you. Why don't we let our friend here? <laughs> Oh, was such a hoot. I don't know how she how how Shinobu puts up with him. I think Shinobu has a point. Actually I think Ito has a point. Why don't we just play no. See? She I don't want agrees. Mm-hmm. Alright, that's it. I know how to settle this. We're gonna play a match. Right now. You like Ito? Yeah, he's a little chaotic, but Safty loves his personality. Hmm. But the traveler probably has cool card back. Kick his butt, yeah. Maybe even better than yours. Sorry, it's it's Wait. um automatic. That what? I, I could have sworn I allowed that before. How do I put this? I mean, yeah, I like Ito too, but beat him in TCG. You have to use his shitty deck against him. <laughs> Quit busting my chops! <laughs> what do you say, Traveler? You got time for a match now? No, I don't want to play against you. Oh, gosh. Do we have to? Do we have to really play? I don't know if you can... I don't know if you have to. I, I went ahead and did it, but... Just can find me whenever you I guess he's just ah. Uh, he's just disappointed. Have you seen her around? I don't want to play. I don't want to play. I play. I I want to have him play. Hey son. No more. No idioso. I like that one. Fish lady. <laughs> That's a good one, Paimon. You're what to talk. Like. That was that was great. Why don't you ask Kujo Sara over there? The Tenryo Commission is in charge of managing access to the venue and maintaining order. Okay, mm but don't forget about your compadre here. Thank you for showing up. Praise the sun and uh, praise the me. <laughs> the sun is out in full force today, but it's nice and cool out still, so it's really nice today. I hope you are enjoying the sun too, wherever you where where you are. But yeah, welcome, welcome back. I know it's not a normal day. This is the first Sunday I've ever streamed. Actually, I don't think I've streamed on another stand Sunday, on a Sunday before, but. We wanted to try something different, but I don't know if it's gonna work. I kind of like having my chill Sundays just to relax and get ready for the next week. Ugh. And do chores and stuff. But yeah. Oh, you did yard work! Ugh, 90 plus degrees! Oh my god. I... Oh gosh, you had a lot of... Uh, enough of yourself, eh? <laughs> um, yeah, 90 degrees? I would not be out there if you paid me. Um... Especially doing yard work. That must have been torture. Working on that tan oh don't don't make sure you have sunscreen on though. That that tan turn turn into really bad uh uh melanoma later in life. Um but yeah, it's only it's only like early this morning when we went for a walk, it was only like sixty five. Right now it's only supposed to be like low seventies. Um, at the high today was supposed to only be 77, so it's really nice here. But next week we're going to get the 90 degree weather, so I'm not looking forward to that. I really hate when it gets past 70s. But after the tech came out- Oh! Swap my modem out, checked all the lines- Still no more- <gasps> Uh-oh. Checked all the lines, huh? Interesting. 
That's horrible. Hmm. So they can't fix. That doesn't make any sense. I wonder if Fido, Fido dropped off, so I don't know if he has an opinion. Yeah, I, I'm so sorry to hear Fido that. Fido might be more of a network guy than me, since I think he works. Yeah, Fido went network. AFK, or he went to but Lurk. He, he, but... works, he works hands-on with network gear for his job. So maybe maybe we he can might, ask he might, him. He might have an idea of what might be the next plan of attack. But you, I'm not sure if they can figure that out. So switching to AT&T Fiber and seeing if swapping ISPs work, I don't know anymore. Well, I mean, fiber in general is better. So, yeah, have you? I guess, do you have any? I guess, just to test, it's not like something weird with your name, which doesn't appear to be by the trace route, but just in case, did you or do you have other devices that you can do like the test on, like a laptop or something, to see if you get similar results? Oh, yeah, on a different device. Yeah, just to make sure it's not something busted about the device's neck. Yeah, because maybe something internal is wrong with your PC. I'm not saying that there is, but it could be a possibility that something I mean, got fried. I, I don't know. It looked like where the packet loss was was IT, but... Oh, you go right back in this... Same issue. Oh. Same issue. Okay. So do you have to play this game? I wonder what happens if you don't play the game. No problem. Arataki, the ultimate TCG. Oh boy. Try taking my router out of the mix. Same issue. Wow. Well, I mean, that's 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 what you do. You try to. Yeah, you try to uh, uh, eliminate. eliminate yeah. But I mean, I mean, like, what's something, whatever it connects to inside your computer. Um. Because you plug it into the box. I don't know how it all works. But I know the safety has to plug the the cable into the box itself. And so if whatever is internal inside your PC, there could be something wrong with that. I have no idea, though. Um, what happens if you don't play against him? Does it wreck anything? Well, figure, uh, well figured so. if it did it on the laptop and my PC. Oh, so you did try it. I, I'm sorry. We didn't know you tried it on two different devices. That's, that's pointing towards the... Uh, that's, turning, that's pointing towards either the router, because you took out your modem, which it sounds like they swapped out, or something in your ISP's infra, which it's, I kind of feel it is. It could be very much that. Like, did you have any... Like, uh, do you have a lot of bad weather recently, maybe? They gave you a whole new modem, yeah. And if it's not fixing that, then it, it sounds like it's definitely something in their infrastructure. Proof of identification ready. At least that's, you know, coming from a very uh, unknowledgeable person. <laughs> we had something, like like Safty said, we had something similar um, at our old place. Like suddenly we kept dropping so many packets and then he kept arguing with the ASP saying no it's something in the infrastructure and they're like did you try turning it off and on again and we're just like it's something in your infrastructure we've you know he's he, he he's done everything like troubleshooting on our end he went around and tested both of our boxes he tested his laptop with it he tested so many different things and he replaced uh, we bought a whole new something I forgot and then um, it still wasn't working, so the only thing we could think about, it was something on their end, and eventually, they brought, I, after, like, two techs, I think it was not even I the didn't. first tech. No. No, I don't think the first tech did anything, like, they just came in and swapped something and then left, but the second tech was no. like, oh yeah, that's us. We need it. No, 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 that's not what happened. He just had to oh. come back and get a part. It was the same guy, he just had to come back and get something. Come oh, back with something. okay. He didn't buy anything else. Okay. We didn't have to buy anything new, I just... We have had a lot of high... Oh, but it worked fine for, well, two weeks at least after the wins. Well, I mean, it could just be holding together, and then finally just... Something, something else happens. And then it just probably, the last, last whatever was holding it together, you know, broke apart. Um, I'm just saying, you know, I mean, it could be various factors. I text said it look, all looks good. Okay, it shouldn't have any okay. more issues. It seemed to be working fine until you left. <laughs> It always works out that way, doesn't it, son? It doesn't act up while it's being watched. But then the moment 
the person that's in charge or whatever watches it, it just doesn't want to work. They're like, ha ha, we got you. Uh. And then I hate, and then they end up blaming the user, and they're like, what are you doing? It's like, no, it's it not looks fine for more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. All right, I'll be back again. Okay. <laughs> that dog emote. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. That's awful. I wonder what happens if you don't play against him. Have you seen her anywhere? I saw her exit the venue after the semifinals, but she hasn't returned since. If you're looking for her excellency, I believe she's currently near the western shore of Rito. It's okay. Hopefully, new ice. Yeah, hopefully. But I'm. I'll, I ho I'll hope for the best. Please let us know how that works out. When does that start? Hmm. Now that I think about it, her opponent in the finals will be a tough one to beat. Who are you? Appreciate you two for trying to help me. Yeah, sorry, I'm just I'm not I'm not being helpful at all. It's safety. I'm just re you know, probably reiterating anything that you already know. And so I apologize. I'm just I'm really dumb. I'm just I guess I'm trying to be helpful, but I'm not being helpful. You know, one of those things where you're just like, okay, you can shut up now. <laughs> gun sign, oh, gonna sign up for tomorrow. Don't know how long it takes the swap process to take. Yeah, I have no idea how long that usually takes, but usually when you connect, it usually takes within hours, right? Oh, I guess it depends if they need to send you a modem or if you can pick one up or you can use an existing one. I don't know. We don't we bought a separate one. We don't use the one that they provide because Safdie thought this one would be better. So that's why we used another one. Um. <laughs> Wait, where did that pin? Oh, up uh, what? <laughs> you pinned this little leak? <laughs> do you just pick random numbers, Luck? Or do you know exactly where it's going? Because I, I wouldn't even know where 0 0.9 and 0 0.1 is. That's interesting. It's just funny watching this leak, like, swing back and forth. First it's X and then it's Y. Oh, okay. I mean, just, I don't, I've never seen how that lines up on the screen. Oh, he knows. He has the math down. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Oh, yeah, that's Hello? right, because you did the basketball thing, so you knew exactly where oh. to shoot it. I, I, I mean, I don't get, I'm, I'm the worst person at math, so. Are you ready for this? <laughs> no. Wait, why is Kujo sat on the screen? Because I was doing the, the story. I, I don't know what happens if you don't do the... She's, she's, she's working on a way to find... She's trying to find an excuse to arrest the publishers of Genius and Vacation TZG as punishment for the show to losing. In the past. Oh, whoa. You, you flipped it, and now it's, like, up there. I see. Oh, poor mm. Star. Look at it. It's like looks like it's being tortured. Yeah, wait a minute here. Cards between friends is to exchange skills and enjoy the game together. It's not about who wins or loses. She hopes that this spirit of friendly competition will define Inazuma going forward. Hmm. A commendable attitude. Her opponent is skilled in the art of deception. Even if she appears to have worry written all over her face, don't fall for it. <laughs> trying to lead you into a trap. It's nice to see two generals who were once enemies on the battlefield now looking out for each other. Do not be mistaken. I speak only in the interest of fairness. <laughs> the moment I saw the name Sangonomiya on the list of competitors, I anticipated that she would make it into the finals to face the Almighty Shogun. Mm. I watched every one of her matches. She constantly adapts her strategy and excels at employing rare and unusual tactics. Hmm. But after the Almighty Shogun's loss, I'm afraid that Lady Guji may also have caught wind of Kokomi's strategies. That's what the person who loses would say. There's only one choice, and it's done. <laughs> oh no! Hmm. Thanks for your insights, General Kujo. I will be sure to pass them along to Her Excellency. Don't mention it. The match will be starting shortly. Please let her know to get back to the venue soon. All right. Then I'll get going. 
I wonder if that changed the outcome of the story if you play the game or not play the game against Ito. I guess we could find out. Probably not. I hope the final goes smoothly. Everything should be fine. As long as that Oni manages to avoid causing a scene. <laughs> ah. Hey Atlas, welcome back. How are you? Happy Sunday. Ito. <laughs> he is he is the epitome of what a I guess the word himbo. Basically. I don't even know what that's supposed to be, but I'm guessing it's like yeah, I can't jump on that. Wait, what? what is what supposed to be? Huh? What is what supposed to be? The himbo thing. It's like a bimbo, but a male version of a bimbo. Oh, but that's kind of derogatory. It's basically like saying he's like a, a hot but dumb guy. Oh, I guess. yes, yes, that's what he encompasses. That's definitely him. I'm good, just cooking up some... Fresh scrub Fresh scrub. and Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, so you're playing a real card game. <laughs> gotcha. Wait. That's a very strange way to spell Magic the Gathering, but whatever. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah, you, you share the same sentiment as Safty. He really is disappointed with the TCG in this game. It's just very poorly designed. There's too much RNG on RNG on top of more RNG. It's just like... And he loves card games, but he does not like the one in this game. It makes me feel peaceful. But I actually came here hoping to see Watatsumi Island. Huh? Can you really see Watatsumi Island from here? Let Paimon take a look. Oh, is that the game that with is... blue eyes, white? L O R. Can you see it? What's L O R? L -O -R. L Legends of Runeterra? Is that the Oh, I tried it. I tried it, like, when it came out. I was like, eh. Even on a perfectly clear day like this, it was fine, I guess. I don't know. I don't have a strong opinion on it. Imagine trying to see it when the islands were surrounded by storms. Though the islands are on peaceful terms now, the dark clouds of war still linger in some people's hearts. Even when friends argue, they still need time to reconcile. Think of how much time is needed when the conflicting sides could never even see each other. You okay, Kokomi? Aww. Sorry. My mind was drifting to some more serious topics. Oh, sorry. Um, I also love Ken Genshin's TCG, but Master Duel just added a shit ton of support. Oh, nice. Oh. Legend, Legends of Runeterra. Yeah, I've never heard of that game. I like it's MLR. like a League of Legends. It's like a League of Legends card oh. game. Oh, oh, have a good lurk, son. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> you like Uno? It. Yes, I like Uno. Uno, I can handle. That's like my level of card game. I can't handle these like ah uh, wordy card games that say you have you can only do this with this card and this with this card and you can only do this if you have this many dice and this many. I'm like, huh? <laughs> Oh man. Fish being a little bit <laughs> bitch. No, she she's 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 nice. She's she's a good she's a good soul. Wait, bro. Did I? Sorry, I'm trying to scroll. Did I miss something? I like... Oh, okay, that was the emote name. I see now. That's what I meant. Okay. Best way to ruin friendships is with Uno. Mm. Um, yes reverse and no. Reverse card or whatever. Reverse card is kind of evil, but yeah. You didn't join the tournament just to play cards. You're competing for other reasons, too. Yes. I thought you might understand. Huh? What are you talking about? Who wins and who loses isn't what's most important. What's important is that Her Excellency came here to compete with all of Inazuma watching. Yes, more people will be traveling between Watatsumi and Narukami Island from this day forward. The point I hope to make is, 
Even Monopoly starts twice. Yes, they do. It yeah, does. That does. Definitely. They're playing cards at the table. We should be willing to cooperate and assist one another in the future. You could say that I'm playing cards to help dissolve enmity. Oh, that makes sense. Although... Wouldn't you be making more enemies? <laughs> and you beat them? <laughs> You're using a simple card game to drive major social change. Yes, that's a good way to put it. Besides, my passion has always been in tactics and strategy. How could I pass up the chance to play in a tournament for a strategic game like this? Oh, so I can see where that she would excel for a game like this. With her skills. <laughs> yes, partly. You should be careful of that fox lady. Even Sara warned us that she'll be a cunning opponent. <sighs> yes. It seems that you're not the only one who sees this tournament as a chance to resolve our differences, Your Excellency. Oh? That's good to hear. Don't worry, Paimon. I've already thought of a variety of stratagems for the match. Wow! Paimon's really looking forward to the final now! And Paimon swears that she's actually gonna see it this time! No matter what! Paimon won't <laughs> let herself get distracted! Not even by all the tasty snacks and- Sure, Paimon. <laughs> Good luck, Kokomi. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Get a weapon menu for Asia. Let him build weapons for the enemy and start a war and get endless funds from the weapon company. He built for the enemy loophole money. Ah! Don't want to exploit. That's too, that's too close to home. Uh, home being, like, real life. Can he climb that? No, why don't they let you climb that? Dark and stern. Archon bolts her way to the semifinals, only to be stunned by the opponent. Uh, uh. Ooh, that's a nice title. Lightning from Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the Electro Archon would get upset over a minor thing like this. Hey, what are you two chatting about? Oh, wait a second. The real question is, how many times are we gonna run into Kirara? Talk about a coincidence, right? What are the chances? I interviewed a few people around Rito, but no more details on the card snatcher, unfortunately. After that, I ran into Kirara here. We got to chatting, and then I found out that she knew you, too. Sorry, you said the card snatcher? Oh, let Paimon explain. Is it too close to home because you put money in gacha game, which they convert the funds to give you more con content to send money again? I know, right? Hmm. I don't actually. We would buy like BP and the Welcome Moon, and that's probably it. It's a little complicated. And the I did stretch a bit further to get more uh, my C6 Nahida, but that's as far as I'm gonna ever go. I haven't bought the hundred dollar package yet, so. And I was gifted the fifty dollar package, so. Wait, what? Me? Uh-oh. Having chatted with Kirara, I was starting to think the same thing. Sorry, I don't have time to explain now. We'll have to continue after the tournament's finished. Ah, just focus on your match, Kakomi. Uh, what should we do? Paimon's That's kind of a... A curveball to throw us at, and then... then like, oh yeah, we gotta focus on the game, so I'll uh, see ya. Yeah, plot twists indeed. Paimon really as dumb as a lavender melon. Aww, Paimon, don't worry about it. Let's watch the competition. We can think about that later. Okay. Ouch. So cruel. Welcome to the final round. As long as it entertains you, I don't see what's wrong with that. Yeah, exactly. I just, I don't have the disposable income. Guji Yai Miko of the Grand Narukami Shrine. Man, that glare. Sangonomiya Kokomi, Divine Priestess of the Sangonomiya Shrine. I really want Kokomi, but every time she comes out, I'm saving for something. <laughs> that glare. My wallet would argue that. <laughs> Let the final match begin! Yay, it's starting! Now... To find out who will play first. You Easy win for Yai. <laughs> I was 
starting to wonder if you got lost walking on the seabed, Miss Soul of the Deep. Uh-oh. You must be tired after the walk back to shore. Perhaps I should let you go first. <laughs> There's no need. I've heard that fried tofu with all the frills gets cold quickly. Oh. If we don't serve it right away, then I'm afraid it'll become a cold, greasy mess. Oh. She can return the burn. Round one. Begin. Damn. To play a close and thrilling game of Genius Invocation. The winner is... Sangonomiya Koko! Yay! Woohoo! Priestess from Watatsumi Island! <laughs> she won! Coconut did it! No! <laughs> Just seeing that Kitsune Yokai made the fur of my tail stand on end. Sorry to keep you waiting. Congratulations, Kokomi. It was a brilliant victory. Thank you. Damn, she pulled literature rap together and didn't I didn't catch none of it. Aw. She clearly cheated. Why? No. Kokomi is uh, a very smart one. Character cards get defeated? Then she played two cards from her hand that required to have lost a character card. Wait, you have that? <gasps> yeah, he's right behind her. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. Wait, I can't uh -oh. access the sound alerts from here easily anymore. I wanted to play I'm in danger. <laughs> Paimon, run away. Run away now. It was just a little fun competition. We'll see who wins next time. What do you say, Miss Soul of the Deep? Tofu with all the frills hasn't gotten too cold. I would be happy to play. <laughs> However, the traveler here is waiting for me to help them solve a puzzle they've been facing. Oh, really? Then I won't disturb you. I'll go play with Goro and. Oh no! It's been a while since I've seen those Poor Goro. Goro. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> now back to our like, conversation. Run away! Goro. Run away! Delivering items between different nations for the past several. I know, right? That 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 look, though, a fear. Quite a few deliveries recently, but what does that have to do with the card snatcher? The strange thing is that Kirara's delivery route has coincided with the card snatcher's movements at every turn. Yes, and therein lies the clue. You mean, Kirara is the card snatcher? Huh? Hey, that's not true. This, 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 this is here. This is. I'm in danger. That's Goro. I mean, a yokai like this? Calm down, you two. Kirara's not the thief. Let me ask you, Kirara. Have any of your packages in the past few days been from the same sender? Or were any sent to the same destination? <sighs> Let me think. Senders have all been different. Sounds like someone's smoking out there. Ugh. In every region, it's hurting my eyes. What? It's like this burning feeling. What is that? Um, I'm not at liberty to give you the exact address, but I can tell you that it's in Sumeru. Were the contents light? No larger than the size of an envelope? Huh? Wait, you're not one of those yokai who has prophetic dreams, are you? I used to hear stories about that when I was curled up on my grandma's lap. Uh, plot twist, our friend was doing the deed under our nose. I know, right? ...of Watatsumi Island. I just like to read light novels and books about military strategy. Do oh, that's it. That's all. It's, it's just light novels and... I only, I only deduce this from, you know, reading Sherlock Holmes a couple times. High <laughs> functioning sociopath. Have you arrived at the same answer as me? Oh god, mm, they, me yeah, then they have you do this shit. Oh no, because wait, what? Everyone loved this part of the MSQ. Oh boy, wait, I they added this how too? I solved that one. Every nation Kirara visited had a parcel sent to Sumeru. Uh, another plot twist comes from out of nowhere. She's emergency food mother. <laughs> Basically. The contents were light and were no larger than an envelope. Um... Contents were probably genius invocation cards. Wait, what? Uh, 
There doesn't seem to be any more leads. <sighs> we came to Inazuma because we tracked the thief here. We've run into Kirara multiple times throughout our trip. Hmm. Wow, this is annoying. Wait, what? Oh, the thief is likely using Komania Express to send packages. Okay. Every nation Kirara visited had a... Every nation Kirara visited... Okay. Kirara's deliveries contain the treasure chest card backs. Interesting. We came to Inazuma because we tracked the thief. Oh, the thief. Every nation Kirara visits. Uh, I don't want to genius invocation cards. We've run into Kirara multiple times. We came to Inazuma because Kirara's deliveries contain the treasure. Is that it? Then is that what I have to do? You may. Oh, okay. So the card backs we've been looking for have been right under our noses all along. But there's still one thing that doesn't quite add up. Kirara picked up her package in Mondstadt before we encountered the card snatcher. The timing doesn't make sense. I've thought about that too. The way I see it, there's more than just one thief involved. So we're trailing not one, but multiple card snatchers. Yeah. The person you've been tracking most likely is one member of the group. It seems the other members had already obtained the card backs and sent them together. Hmm. Hmm. Now that I think about it, collecting all those card backs across so many nations would be near impossible for just one person. But. Why isn't the one we're following ever using Komania Express? Because he's too slow. He probably missed the arranged shipment date. Well, that's how I figure it at least. From your explanation, he's only committed theft on one occasion, and there were even witnesses. After that, he's been trading or playing to collect the card backs. I suspect that this person isn't a very good thief. He probably used some more he was given to arrange shipments with Komania Express as funds to use for trading. And there's another question now. Why don't the other members just keep the cards and take them back to Samaru themselves? Hmm. Unless there's a reason for them to stay. Dun dun dun. <laughs> this is a question I'm still grappling with now. What is the thief's objective? What kind of secret is hidden behind these card backs? Money. It's always about money. There's no way to know without seeing one for ourselves. Uh, uh, hey, don't look at me like that. <gasps> you just open a customer's parcel? Uh-oh. If the company ever found out, I'd be fired on the spot. You can't. Then I don't want to go back. I'd be fired on the spot. No, we don't want to cut. So it seems like a better deal than working for Amazon. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it would be best for you all to accompany Kirara to Sumeru. Good idea! Going to the delivery location is the only lead worth following now. And if the recipient really is a bad guy, then Karara could be in danger. We should come along to make sure you're safe. I can beat the bad beat up the bad guys. Hey, I know my way around a fight too. I haven't had a single package stolen from me since I've started this job. When Yay. I was on me thinking I'd be an easy target to take packages from, I send them running. <laughs> I'm so concerned about your safety. We have to get to the bottom of this mystery. Let me think about it. All right. I'll let you come with me to the delivery point in Sumeru. But on one condition. Hmm. You have to promise that you'll hide somewhere where the customer can't see you. 
Who's ever heard of a group of people delivering packages? <laughs> no problem. You got it. Also, even if the customer is a bad guy and has stolen things, we should leave that for the local authorities to handle. It does make me wonder why deliveries have to be done by only one person. You would think that safety in numbers applies, you know? Like, you never know... I mean, I feel bad sometimes with, like, male, male people. Um, like, animals just, you know, jumping the fence or running out of the house and, you know, attacking who they... Who they are interpreting is a, you know, a stranger that may endanger them. So what about the Hearthstone? Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the reaction. MTG, Yu-Gi-Oh, Hearthstone, Genius Invocation. Isn't there other games in that? Well, there's, well, there's other, other games in that, but... I, I don't have a good enough opinion <laughs> of LOR to rank it, really. Oh, okay. You know what game would be? You know, if I were, you know, if I were to design a Genshin Impact-based card game, I'd probably make it work. I'd probably design it more similarly to the old Legend of the Five Rings card mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. That that worked pretty well. Why are there less days in the new event than there is? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why am I whispering it? I don't know. Wait till the following day. Fine. I like Yu-Gi-Oh, but not Master Duel. Oh, okay. What What are your complaints with Master Duel? It's about time for us to head to Sumeru and investigate that group of thieves. Paimon's got a feeling that it won't be long before we have a breakthrough on the case. Whoa, that match between Fox Lady and Fish Lady really got my blood racing. The sweat's practically boiling off my forehead. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm sure all of Rito knows how excited you are. But the gang's all waiting for us. We should be heading back now. I don't know. I tried it, and it didn't give me any reason to keep playing. Is it like the, the, the game's economy that's the problem? Because it's probably the biggest problem with Arena is the economy. But <laughs> A grown Oni cry? He's really milking that, isn't he? General Kujo, can I have a word? Ow. Yes. Congratulations on Good your or Kujo, can I have a word with you? I wanted to express my gratitude for the helpful advice you provided. Now I made like two, three decks until I stopped. Ah. Oh. Like no, I, like if you play the, I mean, I, it's just Yu-Gi-Oh, but digital. So is there like, is it missing cards that you want to play with, or is it missing, or is it just got a poor economy that's too hard to build or too grindy to build decks, or, or what's the problem? I don't know. <sighs> Just, just curious what you think. Seeking chances to hone your skills in the game, considering countermeasures, and competing with They're not so different for me, point. except people actually want to use me in the best. <laughs> in that case, let's play a match of Genius Invocation before you. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah uh, that, that's, that's, that's definitely. Decks only, but grinding was not really. That, that, that's definitely a problem with Arena too. Like, it's definitely, like, if you play Magic. Like, if you play Magic in a cart in your local card shop, you're likely to find... Well, they're out here? You're likely to be able to do well with decks that are merely so-so, but in Arena, everyone's got a highly tuned deck, like, loaded with Mythics. And so, yeah, everything's pretty meta. So I can kind of get that. There's not a lot of variety. On the online version, because people just build the most powerful thing. Which way should we go and now? You're matched up against people who are constantly playing the same deck over, same like three decks over and over again. I would recommend taking a. I, I can get that one. 
If the customer does turn out to be rotten, you can let the bodyguard deal with it. I don't know if Yu-Gi-Oh has different formats bodyguard. of reality. Because, like, yeah, generally... Ah, see, no. Generally, if you go to a more legacy format in a, an arena like Explorer, you get more variety. Um... Because there's more cards. The card pool's bigger. Good to see you. Quack, also, quack banana also banana bread. Banana bread. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway. Banana, ba banana bread quack. quack. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh don't worry. I'm a box. You are a box. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. How do you know so many powerful people? <laughs> the head pet, I guess, doesn't show. <laughs> Oh no. Well, there he goes. Thanks for the head pat, though, even though it's under the box. Time now, Sino? Or do you need to go participate in the Genius Invocation Tournament? Tournament? The tournament has already finished. Really? Then how did you do, Sino? I am now the official king of invocations. Official king? Did you crush the competition? I used forbidden hand at the opportune moment and drew. Oh my god! What I'm surprised that they didn't do. They didn't have like a grand. Why didn't he win? Anyway, how did huh? he lose it? Wait, let Paimon catch who did? How did who lose it? He won. Huh? He won. Uh, I'm confused. He won his matches, but they just didn't even bother showing the stuff. They should have. I'm surprised they didn't have like a grand finals, you know, like for that. It's my duty to uphold the rules and punish evil. Utao, Homie, mm. and Sino go at it to be like the world champion, but I guess, I guess not. I, presumably, presumably they had games in the other countries too. But they're still my customer until we have any concrete proof otherwise. But my guess is that Natlands, Natlands, uh, Natlands. Devolved into a fist fight, probably. <laughs> hmm. Not a problem. You can just watch my tails. Your tails? You mean both of them? Of course, both of them. I'll come up with a way to have the customer confirm the contents of the package. If they turn out to be just an ordinary customer and the package doesn't contain the card backs, then I'll lower both of my tails. That'll mean you can just stay hidden. Hmm. If they turn out to be the thieves we're after, then I'll... Lay down. Lay down? Huh? Huh? Why would she do that? It'd be a signal that we need to... Lock. <laughs> See, no! Oh my god! I'm not standing on the ground. That would be way too embarrassing! <laughs> like, no. No. Jesus, she, this is too much. To pound your back. Uh, what? What? Simple. It'd be signal that she had found the back. Oh my god. This is just what? <laughs> Did you see the reaction of her? Yeah, Lumine's face. Lumine's like, was just what like, the hell? She, had a, she, has, a be she, had a, she has a better. Disgusted. Wow. Yes. She's like, what the? Than, than... Don't enable him exactly, exactly. He played Yu-Gi-Oh in real life, and Master Duel didn't give me the vibes I felt back then. Aww. If you see that, then you can come round them up. You're not going to lay down. No, I'm not laying down. <laughs> Sino is just what. I don't know. I think I think Tignari like reels in his sense of uh, a common sense. That's it. He brings. Yeah. He gives him common sense where Sino lacks any. Right? Isn't that how it is? Ugh. I have to run all the way out there, really. We're in the middle of nowhere, though. Are you sure this is the right place, Kirara? Uh, let's see. The address is approximately 100 paces down the road from Caravan Rebot towards the desert, near the first flaming flower. That's the most suspicious address Paimon's ever heard! Yeah, no kidding. It's not a real flaming flower anymore. Wait, can I aim?
Have you fed the, any ducks recently? Not recently. Uh oh. Aw. Oh, we're here. Huh? There aren't any houses around here. Hmm. Maybe the recipient planned on coming here to personally receive the package. I've had customers do that in the past. Uh, we're still a little early. Uh, in the meantime, why don't the rest of you go find a place to hide? And remember, watch my tails for the signal. Oh boy. The customer will be here soon, so be sure to stay out of sight. Yes, ma'am. Oh, those are actual enemies. <laughs> Oh boy. Take it easy. And we have the actual CIA person here. Well, hide here. This spot is hidden, but with a clear view. Okay. I'm unsure this recipient's up to no good. Mm -hmm. Who pick up a package in a place like this? That's a good question. I agree. But for the sake of her company's reputation, we'll let her. Oh my gosh, you know. <laughs> Charlotte's going on. <laughs> the reaction. The puns. Oh my god. What? As in her tails? Oh goodness sakes. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> That's awful yet funny at the same time. That's just oh my god. Hey, look! Someone's coming. Huh. You from Comony Express? That's right. You must be Mr. Dada Baba. Dada Baba. Uh, yes. This is your package. Here you go. Hmm. Interesting. One more level, and I can start the artifact run. Oh. That you open it and confirm the contents. I've been running to many places the past few days through all sorts of weather. The contents may have shifted, so it's best to check that everything's intact. No need. You haven't opened it to see what's inside, have you? Uh oh. Of course not. That would be against our company policy. But if the contents are valuable, I would still recommend checking. Please them. leave a five star rating. If everything turns out to be honest, <laughs> I could compensate you now. I said no need, didn't I? Why are you so persistent? We have surge pricing for kicking your ass. Oh okay. no, Taffy. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a uh -oh. think of a quippy. Manage, you know. A quippy line. What? Like... Hey, you. Are you the only one delivering out here? Uh-huh. Uh, yes, that's right. I, I wouldn't bring a bunch of people with me to deliver a package. Uh, she's not a very good liar. No. I'm no good at lying. She is actually. And I can't keep my tails from moving everywhere. Look, she's getting a signal. But, wait, I... Paimon doesn't recognize that signal. Oh, gosh. Uh, the, I nearly forgot. The, this just happens to be my 100th delivery. It's a really special moment for me. If you could let me know what I delivered, it would mean a lot to me. Wow, she's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> she is a really horrible liar. Does she need us to step in or not? Uh-oh. Her tails keep moving and intertwining. They keep pointing in different directions. Ah, maybe she's trying to say that she mixed up her directions. These people aren't the intended recipients. Uh oh, no, 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 see, no. There's no way anyone could get all that just from her tails. <laughs> He's reading way too much. All right, I can feel it. And you seem real concerned about this package, Missy. Uh-oh. Uh, no, that's just part of my job. We always care about the customer. Are you really... But she never she never indicated that she's bad at lying, so... Yeah, she's just... Uh, yeah. just like, Nobody uh... will ever know anything happened way out here. Oh, no. <laughs> then do you have a... <laughs> to leave a five-star review? Five-star review? <laughs> sure. I'll leave a five-star review. After you're dead! Oh my god, no! Don't be a bad guy. Oh, 
I'll leave a five star review after you died. <laughs> Forget the signals. They've, They've got, got a it. knife. Hey, Sly Pie. They've got a knife. Oh no, let's send to the people with fucking visions. Mm. They've got a knife. I've got a dendro vision. Oh well. Uh oh. Boss, oh, she's got backup. Ah. <laughs> uh... I'm Batman. <laughs> do you know who? Yeah, it's like, do you know who I am? Uh oh. Huh? Wait, that that Sino, the General Mahamatra. Uh oh. Sino. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What? <laughs> this is so funny. I'm just messing with this. Where's Sino? Emerge. Right here. Emerge. <laughs> Tells the bad guy not to be a bad guy. One less bad guy in the world. Exactly. Don't worry. Had I known you were here, we, we, we wouldn't have. Oh, gosh. Too late for that. And I don't want to hear any whining from you two either. Clear? Y yes C Crystal clear. General Mahamatra, I, I don't oh, want to bad man, Don't be a bad guy. Oh, okay. I won't be a bad guy. Okay, good idea. <laughs> that depends on how... Now we're going to explain the dumbest... The dumbest criminal plot ever. Really? Yes. Card backs. Genius invocation TCG card backs. That yeah, that that wasn't so. That wasn't that wasn't a tall tale sign with their suspicious behavior. Yeah, that's right. Wait, how'd you know that? Who are you, and why are you stealing card backs? We're just a group of treasure hoarders. That's all. Some hoarders were getting fed up recently with just stealing small stuff. They wanted to. Uh... Go on. <laughs> to pull off something big you know not just in one nation all across Tibet. all across Tibet? yeah we were planning to steal prized treasures from different nations all at the same time after pulling off a job like that everyone would recognize us treasure hoarders as the most powerful organization across the world oh god <laughs> she's face bombing again i mean but uh, <laughs> seems like that's not gonna happen now <laughs> Oof, it's about TCG, so you know, ain't about to let them live. Exactly, I know. know you missed the funny, uh, the crazy puns that he was given off earlier. How popular Genius Invocation TCG has become recently. Somebody suddenly came up with the idea to use cards as a way to communicate our plans without being detected. <laughs> oh, jeez. So you were the ones who printed these card backs. Yeah. Because every treasure hoarder knows what to do once they see a treasure chest. First you bury it so no one else can take it, then just add a little bit of... Uh-oh, you're giving too much of your info. Hey, shut it! You're giving away all our plans! <laughs> oops, oops, oops! It appears dun dun dun! A ridiculous plan of yours, more valuable than your own life. Wow. No, 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 I'll talk, I'll talk. All you need to do is cover it with some wet dirt or sand, then wipe it off after a while. And it'll look like this. My fellow hoarders, this is the big job we've all been waiting for. Take up your daggers, put on your masks, and round up your sumter beasts. Oh, and for those of you without sumter beasts... Seriously? That's all it says? Ugh, what a waste. <laughs> what do you mean, waste? That message will mobilize the treasure hoarders. Uh, he, he's right. The time and the other details are printed below that. Oh. Time on D's. Oh, there it is. Oh boy. Objectively speaking, it's definitely a creative method of communicating information. But then why were you trying to retrieve these card backs? It's all because some fellow hoarders got addicted to genius. <laughs> They started a, they started to have it. In, 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 we're even using our card backs and indirectly. Oh boy. That wasn't the worst of it. Some of them ended up losing our card backs to other players. Uh oh. Ah, 
You were afraid that your plans would be exposed, so you dispatched members to quickly retrieve the card backs that had been scattered into the markets. Not just the ones on the markets. We collected all our treasure chest card backs and we had them shipped back. Oh. Those plans had already been discovered, so we were preparing to print another set of card backs. They would indicate a different time to initiate the operation, and we'd redistribute them. But to take every precaution, we raised funding for everyone to send us the backs via Comini Express. That way, we could guarantee the card backs would arrive safely and on time. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, thanks for the compliments. <laughs> so oh, the man. The would stay at their original location to ensure that the operation could continue moving forward. Now that I think about it, that must be why... This is actually a really dumb plot. <laughs> Oh, they could have done so much better. It's no wonder we were this makes no sense. Left and right, they wanted to be sure that anyone involved stayed quiet. There. I told you everything I know. Hopefully that will help us make up for our mistakes. Please, Mahamatra Sino, show us mercy. <laughs> You'll each receive your due punishment. Enough talk. The other guy's just like sitting there moping. <laughs> oh man, this is too much. They're so goofy. You follow Sino back to the caravan. Ribbit. 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 I'll be escorting them back to some caravan. Ribbit. 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 Sorry. Thanks for all your help. I was only fulfilling my duty. He's like. You all did well. My name is. My name is General Sino. When he's working. <laughs> you screwed with my card game. He's so like. Serious. Champion of the Sumero Regional Tournament. All right, go ahead. I want to interview. What were your thoughts about the tournament? And did you have any? Tell me, Mr. Sino. Hmm. Genius Invocation TCG is a very good game. <laughs> but to me, it's, it's not, not just, just a game. game. It's an art form. Ooh. It allows people to meet others, make friends and experience the joy of dueling together. I hope everyone can have the chance to experience the fun of playing this game. Hmm. Great answer. That'll be a perfect ending for my news piece. Cute, Therefore, cute, cute. I assure you that I will personally bring judgment to any criminals out there. Ooh. Of there you go, Sly-Fi. Uh-oh. No matter where you run. Oh! Where you hide, <laughs> That's a little... You will not escape <gasps> the punishment of lightning. <laughs> uh, clearly, you take this game seriously. Yeah. You know, this is just a card game, right? I know, right? Wow. Got decked. <laughs> By cards. <laughs> He says this with such a straight face. I don't know how. How? And then she's like, good idea. I'll use it. I'll inform the other areas not to be gained by these thieving treasure. Gamed? Take your seat on this play game if you just like sing it. We will. So in the end, it turned out that... Oh, wow. Wow. Still feels a little disappointing, though. Paimon thought for sure those card backs would lead us to some valuable treasure. Don't say that. Think of the bright side. We uncovered a major international crime scheme. <laughs> oh, I definitely have everything I need for my exclusive news piece. If anything, Paimon regrets that we didn't get to see the mysterious inventors of Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> it seems everyone can't stop game it's just fun to play cards it's fun to meet new friends in that case how would everyone like to join me for a very special delivery mm. huh you mean it's related to genius and vacation tcg mm-hmm that's right you'll understand when we get there i would have invited sino along too if he wasn't busy with work oh really but didn't you say before that you can't disclose customer information yeah, but this time the situation's different. Let's just say this delivery wasn't assigned to me by the company. This package had been sitting at the company for some time because we could never locate the recipient. 
Even the neighbors didn't know where you went. Hmm. So the company eventually took ownership of the package? Yep. The holding period passed just last month. But can't you just return it to the original sender? Well, it turns out the sender has passed away. Oh no. Oh, that's terrible. Oh no. Yeah. And I thought both the original sender and intended recipient would be disappointed if this package is left undelivered. So... That's dedication to your job. <laughs> Eventually, I found out where the recipient went and also learned a little about his past. Wow, amazing! So who is it? Hmm. Well... <laughs> you'll have to come with me and see. I have a feeling that it'll be good to have some true genius invocation TCG players like you come along. But I'm not. <laughs> a new story brewing. I'll tag along as well. Huh? Oh, now Paimon's really curious. What do you think, Traveler? Shall we join her? Of course, it's our duty as TCG players. <laughs> but I'm not a TCG player. Ugh. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, that's that's the end. Chatter of joyous dreams. That's the end, right? This is oh the wait, end? no, no, no. You have to do this this coda thing. Oh, what? What? The the coda. <laughs> the final package. Sorry. Yeah, that, that's a, that was a really stupid ass plot. They even need to it do was. that card. They didn't even need to do the card back plot to tell no, this part of the story. It was didn't. freaking. I was just dumb. I only know his name is Garvapidum and that he's a scholar from the academia. Garvapidum, got it. So why couldn't they return it to the recipient? I mean, why couldn't they deliver this? If he's right here, that I don't understand. Hmm. Do you know where Garvapidum lives? Hmm, uh, I'm afraid I've never heard that name before. Uh, he's a scholar from the Academia. Oh, yes, there is a scholar around here, but I've never heard anyone go by the name you mentioned. Isn't he a scholar? Are you sure you've got the right name? Uh... Actually, I'd like to ask him a few questions myself regarding which of the six Darshans to join. Hmm. Sounds like he doesn't know. Hmm. Let's go ask someone else. Hmm. Go for a swim. Oh, ads. We'll be right back. Scholar named Garvapitum. Garvapitum? I've never heard of him. Hmm. Ah, uh, wait, uh, do you mean that newcomer that arrived a few days ago? Oh, someone just moved here? Hmm. Yes, that's right. He looked pretty anxious, though, almost like he's struggling to complete a thesis. I've seen him speaking with the village head. Probably looking for a place to stay. Vimara Village is the perfect place to take a vacation and relax, which is why I chose to come back here. Got it, thank you. We'll go talk to the head of the village. Don't mention it. If life is ever treating you hard, you can always come and live here for a while. <laughs> they make it sound so easy. Uh. Who are you? Exactly. I'm Batman. Oh wait, that was the last part. <laughs> well, remind myself not to. Uh... Are you the head of the village? There's something we'd like to ask you about. Yes. Not to accidentally me. drop Go TCG ahead. cards. Get murdered, Messino. Do you know where a scholar by the name of Garvapidum lives? We'd like to talk to him. Garvapidum. Ah, that must be him. You know him? Hmm. Yes, I do. He came here to rent a place to stay. He said he needed to unwind a little. 
but hardly anyone's ever seen him come out since he moved in. He doesn't seem to be very outgoing. I don't know if that's his way of unwinding. Stretching. But I'd say he's just keeping himself cooped up. Are you friends of his? Yeah, you could say that. Hmm, I can't <laughs> find any yet. Is that what happens whenever she tells a lie? <laughs> the FaceTime one's making. I like that. I was thinking that it'd be good for some friends to check up on him. Yeah, we're totally friends. Besties. besties. Totally besties. Find him there. The bestest of besties. <laughs> Don't mention it. I just want to see people who come here be happy. Aw, what a good old man. That's nice. Okay. So we're still Rana's friends, but he's talking to us like we're strangers. I see. Mm -hmm. That doesn't add up, but sure, okay. <laughs> the birds kind of just stare at you, hop and stare at you, and then they run away. Oh gosh, you re really? I'm maxed on my artifact. Oh my god, I am. No, not again. <sighs> this is such a pain. It really is. I really hate this. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Good luck with this when you. Oh, I only. Got, I went on HP. Really. Ugh. Good luck with your artifact grind when you get there. Luck. Um. Hopefully it's not as bad as mine, and you live up to your name of being good luck. Oh my God. Okay, this has already failed. This is all going into HP. That's just what. Really. This one all went into EM. <sighs> They're like the same thing, see? But they went into... They didn't go into crit. That's so depressing. It's so upsetting. Because they're not bad uh, artifacts, except for the fact that they're not going into crit. Do I have to tell you why? They're exactly the same, except one went to HP. Tell me why ain't nothing but a death stat. Tell me it's why HP. ain't nothing but HP stat. Oh, God. Tell me why. Don't want to have to hear you say artifacts are super lame. I've seen countless people cry about it. Yes. Yes. You can't. It is horrible. It can be get really crit stat. You can't <laughs> get <laughs> attack. But here's some heat. I felt that one. <laughs> my abyss team's reeling. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, let's see here. I don't even know why I have that saved. It's not really good. Ugh. I don't... Ugh. Abyss is too hard. Oh, God. When crit rate isn't in the code. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. No. <laughs> Thanks for the headband on Saturday. He deserves it. He he comes up with the funniest lyrics sometimes. He'll just like break out in song, but he won't be singing the actual song lyrics. He'll just be singing random lyrics and I'm just like Oh boy. <laughs> For as long as I've known him it's always been that way. It's really interesting. Uh, I don't even know what to level. It's like everything sucks. 
I'll try this one. I just need to get rid of some artifacts. It's like, I, I dwindled it down to 1200, right? And they're back again. It's like, really? Ooh, wait, what? It gave me crit rate? Elemental mastery, energy... Wow. Watch, nothing will go in the crit, so... Please, go into crit. Nope, it went to EM. It's not bad, but I would rather it go into crit, please. Crit, please. Please. Please, 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 please. Be nice. Now I need a safety story. Oh! Uh, I'll redeem it. Be ready. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, you're reading it next stream. Next, next stream? stream? Wait, what? Why next stream? Oh, I think he's probably gonna think of a story. Oh, crit rate. Yeah, thank you. You want it now? I, I don't know if what I, whatever you want. <laughs> if you need some time to think of your plot, then you know you you don't have to uh, redeem it now. But redeem it whenever you want to. Did you ever get some sleep luck? Did you actually get any sleep? I mean... Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh. There's Ember a story. Ember is secretly the real Grandmaster of the Knights of Hazonius. Crit damage! Ember is secretly the real Grandmaster of the Knights of Hazonius. I, I forgot where I left off with my intergalactic restaurant, so maybe we'll do the, uh... Maybe we'll do the other one. Okay. All right. Amber is secretly the real mass grandmaster of the Knights of Hathonius. Okay. okay, so. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to write it in. Luck. Luck so is let's see. Uh... Oh, wait. Okay, so you, you have a choice. Yes, we'll do the Amber one. Oh, so I should take out the other part? Well, I'll leave them both there just so people can see that you had a choice and you went with the amber one. Right? Yes. Oh, I guess it's too long. Um, hold on. I need to fix that. You remember the last story. That, that... That takes a really good memory right there, Luck. I, I don't remember what happened. So we'll go with the Amber idea. The Amber story prompt. So. Okay. So the Traveler... The Traveler had been... Just been doing it. The Traveler had just finished a hard day of returning. Oh, you did sleep, quick. Yes, the Traveler had just returned to Mondstadt from a hard day of work. Returning... Sticky tofu to some random kid and some ran some random I kid who with a with a tummy ache or something. These daily commissions were certainly oh, a very uh, were, were very were certainly a very uh very uh useful uh, and productive use of his time. <laughs> he sits back. He sits he he sits in his chair, in the angel chair. Not as and bad surely, as and slow, not as bad as Trove. Wow, really? Slowly shuffling, slowly shuffling his genius invocation TCG deck. <laughs> Paimon, Paimon's like, stop playing with the, stop playing with those stupid cards and get Paimon some food. Oh no. Traveler just glares back with a stupid look on his face. Suddenly, the door busts open. Venti. 
That's not a good artifact. Darn it. Venti. Oh well. Venti uh, stumbles in even more drunk than normally. Oh boy. Paimon's like, isn't that the tone deaf bard? What's wrong with him today? He looks more drunk than usual. Oh no. But he crashes down at the table. Traveler's like, hi Venti. Do you want to play some Genius of Vacation TCG? But he's Venti ignores him, mumbling. I tried to give the people of Mondstadt freedom, but it turns out it was all lies. <laughs> Oh, this seems serious, the traveler says. What's going on? He's like... He's like... I can't even say. It's too terrible. All I have to say that is everything... Everything Jean has told you is a lie. Uh -oh. Go ask her. I was like, this sounds terrible. We better go see Grandmaster Jean right away. Uh-oh. Traveler leaves, going to the nice of the Favonius headquarters. He enters Jean's office. She looks up, her face, a, 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 a dour look on her face. Put Klee in the story. Uh-oh. Sure, we can put Klee in the story. It's like a uh, traveler honorary night in Paimon. What what can I do for you tonight? Traveler looks on. He's like, Venti was in the angel share. He was mumbling things about everything about Monstat being a lie. Maybe he was just drinking too much. And Jean's like, yeah. Jean looks up nervously. Yeah, yeah. That that must be it. Uh oh. Clearly, he he was drunk. Traveler could tell Gene was not. Gene wasn't saying something. Yeah. I'm trying to pick up the next slide. Oh. It's like, are you sure? Anything's the wrong. Every anything's wrong. We can help you. From the next room over, maniacal laughing could be heard. It was Klee. Klee? Maniacally Klee. laughing. Wait, what? Klee said. Klee's like. <laughs> Klee's like. Jean better not be saying anything she shouldn't. Or else this whole place might get blown sky high. Oh, no. <laughs> Isn't that right, Dodico? Oh, no. Jean's like, we need to go elsewhere. Meet me. Meet me at Dawn Winery at 3 a.m. The traveler opens up his Paimon menu and adjusts the time to 3 a.m. <laughs> and then goes to the, and then teleports to the angel share. Jean and Dai Luke. Jean and Dai Luke are waiting for him. They're like, come inside and be quick about it. Traveler's like, okay, what's up? And why couldn't we talk about this at Knights of Fifonius HQ? They look around nervously. And Jean's like, I'm sorry I didn't tell you before, Travel Honorary Knight. Things have, but things have gotten out of hand in once that while you were away. The Traveler's like, sorry, I've been away for so long. There was a whole bunch of stuff in the desert that I had to do. And then I had to hang out with Kive and and the yeah, Amigo was up to some bullshit and uh yeah and then we had to do a, a card game. She's like, yes, clearly you've been quite busy with some very important tasks. <laughs> important. Either way. Either way, things aren't so great in Mondstadt. We can't talk about we can't talk about it here, but let's just, we can't talk about it at the headquarters, but I've been lying to you this whole time. Hey, what? I've been lying to you this whole time. And Diluc's oh, like, yes, I've just only just, Diluc's like, yes, I've only just heard about this myself, but it appears 
that, is that Master Gene is not really in charge of the Knights of Favonius anymore. Mm -hmm. It's been taken over by a sinister force. What? Even... Even Klee is on the take. Klee's on the take. Paimon's like, Klee's on the take? But isn't she like five? What could she possibly do? To be on the take? He's and Dilux's like, don't underestimate the seductive power of lollipops. Oh no. Regardless, we need to get to the bottom of this. All of the hard fought peace and freedom that Monset has enjoyed is at risk. He's like, we need to identify who's really in charge of this shady operation. Who's been extorting the citizens of Mondstadt and taxing them. And Paimon's like, is it Eula? I bet it's Eula. She seems pretty shady. And she's like, he's like, no, it's not Eula. Eula's too much of an idiot to think of a plot like this. What? That's so mean. All she cares about is getting vengeance or something. No, it's far more sinister than this. Wow. We need your help to uncover the plot. Oh boy. Paimon's like, what can we do? Obviously we'll help. He's like, he looks like, yes. There's a, we, we, I've covered, sure, I've, I've covered, a, I, I've, a, I've uncovered information. There's going to be a secret meeting between the Fatui and a mysterious figure known, known as A. In Storm Terrace Lair, tomorrow night at a? 7 p.m. Wait, 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 what? Not the letter A. Oh, the letter A, not like A. -A. Like, okay. Not like A. Okay. He's like, Paimon's like, A, who could that be? I wonder. Uh oh. Doesn't, isn't Clee's mom start with an A? Um... It's like, it could be Alice. She's very sus. Don't trust people who start their sentences with "ada ada." Is my uh, oh my god no? Is my is my modus operandi? But we need to get proof. Can you go pro go in and put on this dilute hands the traveler mask? Put this on. No one will suspect it's you, except people with an IQ above three above a hundred. <laughs> and go to the rendezvous spot tomorrow. We'll figure out who's in charge. We'll, we'll have to figure if the person who, who's who meets up isn't in charge. We'll just have to ambush them and figure out who is. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting junk at my knee. So, the time the time menu pops up, and they they uh, fast forward the time till next day tomorrow. They go to Storm Terror's lair and wait in the bush. The Fatui show up. They're like. This is the rendezvous point, isn't it? Yes, it is, Sergey. We are to meet A and provide giant sack of money. In exchange, we will find the normal lo no location of Moose and Squirrel. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Chocolate Disco. He's like, I don't like this, sir. He's like, I don't like this, Alexei. What if we get double-crossed? What if that pesky traveler shows up and uses all of his elemental skills on us? Oh no. That will hurt. <laughs> don't you remember what happened to Signora? <laughs> it's like, we don't talk about that, Sergei. Now quiet. Someone's up in the sky. It might be a, a glider. The silhouette of a glider shows up above the moonlight. And then finally lands. From the shadows. Amber appears. She's like, you, you are a, ever not. Yes, I am. Huh. Where's the money? He's like, here it is. Now where's Moose and Squirrel? What? Amber smiles. Oh, somewhere in, somewhere in Sumeru. I've drawn a map. Here you go. I don't care about them anymore. They, they've fulfilled their purpose. With this money, all I need to do. With this money, I, I can finally bribe Barbara and take full control of Mondstadt. Jean was too busy doing paperwork to notice it was me. Everyone thinks I'm the worst character in the game. Oh, no. And they won't suspect a thing. Oh, no. The Traveler and D-Luke look, look shocked from their 
took shock. It was Amber the whole time. They certainly had us fooled. We need to stop this before it's too late. So they jump out of the bushes and say, the jig's up. Amber looks over and says, Gene, D. Luke, an obviously guy, obvious person in the mask who's totally not the traveler, her eyes roll. You're on to me finally. It only took you six months. It only took you six years to figure this out. Wait, how many? Three years? I don't know. However long the game's been drawn. God damn it. About six years. Anyway, <laughs> it's only been taking you years to figure out that I've been extorting the people of Mondstadt. Oh boy. But it's too late. With this sack of money, I'm going to bribe your sister and turn you turn her against you. You thought I was the worst character in the game? Think again. The, del the, the Fatui have also given me this delusion, which will make me even more powerful than you. Oh, no. Gene and Dee look at each other and shrug. It's not like we're actually that powerful. Oh, no one uses us in Abyss anyway. Oh. And Amber's like, <laughs> Amber's like, that's not important. Surrender or die. The Traveler's like, not on my watch. He reveals the mask. It's me, the Traveler. And Amber's like, yeah, I knew it was you. He's like, oh, also my friends. Also my friends are here. Hu Tao, Zhongli, Kazaha. Oh, no. And yell on. And she's like, and Ember's like, oh, wait, real five star characters? I wasn't anticipating this. How much money have you spent on Genshin Impact? The Traveler's like, more than that sack of money, I wager. And Ember's like, Ember and the Patui put their hands up, and she's like, you got me. There's no way I'm going to become a Wang Shen funeral parlor uh, customer. I'll go quietly. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> and Zhang Li's sitting there in anticipation. He's like, I wanted to say it. <laughs> the traveler's like, Yeah, fine, you can say it. He crosses his arms and says, I will have order. Oh, and no. a giant meteor crashes down and turns everyone to stone. Oh my god. Traveler, traveler nods in satisfaction, knowing his money has been well spent on Genshin Impact. <laughs> It's like, I've saved Monset again, this time, from Amber, oh, no. apparently. <laughs> all, in a good, all in a good day's work! He's like, yes, I would have never guessed Amber would betray us. He's like, I can count on you to never betray me, right, Paimon? And Paimon's like, Paimon, Paimon uh, nervously nods. Sure, of course not. Paimon would never betray you. <laughs> to be continued. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, you, there is a, there is a. I can't, I can't access that thing from mod view. Oh. Um, Someone else can play it. If they want. I forgot where. Oh, here it is. That's the That's story. The story. That one? Sorry if I spoiled the plot of the next patch, everyone. But. That one. Yeah, that one. Okay. Sorry if I spoiled the, the, the I revealed the, the plot of the next patch early, but oh boy, you heard it here first. <sighs> Why am I getting crap for artifacts? Like really, that 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 was that was horrible. Uh, this is horrible, horrible. Loved it. Okay. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, good bad bedtime story, so you can sleep better and earlier tonight, right? Sure. Sure. Right, Luck? Right? <laughs> I don't know where Safi pulls these stories out of. I mean, he, he's really good at just throwing them out of nowhere. But then again, he does like to do Dungeons and Dragons, and he can he DMs them. So I, I, can't, I can't come up with stories like that. I, I've never been able to just use my imagination and conjure up weird stuff like this. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> it was really interesting. I... Oh, man. I wish I had... Exactly! I wish I had his imagination, too. It's, 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 un... it's amazing. Ooh, plus five? Ugh. 
Go on to crit, darn it. Give me crit. I need crit. Give me crit. Crit. More crit, please. Ugh. No, not attack. Crit. Crit. C-R-I-T. Crit, please. I mean, it'd be nice. Sometimes it's it's actually unnerving when Safty will be silent about something because you know his brain is like going a million miles an hour thinking of something. But when he's quiet, that's when I get really worried. I'm like, <laughs> literally that penny for your thoughts or more like, can you know, like a dollar for your thoughts because it's just, he's just sitting there churning out something and it's just, it's more sus when he's quiet. Hey, Dr. Jazz, how are you? Welcome back. You just missed a safety time story that was uh really interesting. <laughs> Let's just say that. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back. How was your Sunday? Oh, why? Why does it have to go into death? This is the pain. Look, this is it was a, it was not a bad artifact until this. <laughs> Ah, so much pain. I hate this. It was good. Just finished. Oh, yummy dinner. You know, I, I'm actually getting hungry myself. Um, but yeah, um, I'll probably be uh, ending soon. I, start, I just want to finish I start, the story. Maybe I should start working on dinner. Should oh, I thank start you for the headpats. If you're hungry, I can step away and start working on dinner after I enjoy these headpats. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, you can hide me. I'm... I'll be... You can hide me while I go do that. I'm gonna go... Start Safty's kitchen of Safty's obvious. kitchen, yes. Safty's kitchen. Okay. We have uh, the pizza pie and the pasta and the lasagna, like in the old country, right there. Kabish, like, no, 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 get... <laughs> manja, manja. You're such a dork. All right, see you later, guys. Okay. Can I help you? Oh man, good boy, Mr. Mustachio. Yes. Capisco, capisco. What's a capisco? <laughs> Oh, capiche. That's how you spell capiche? I don't, I can't see how to C-A-P-I-S-C-O. Yes, it's from a Mr. Kula. No, you didn't make me hungry. I didn't actually eat much of a lunch. I just kind of, um... How is that possible? I was just kind of, um... I only ate, like, a trail mix earlier, and that's the only meal I've had today, so I'm just like... You know, actually, I'm getting kind of hungry sitting, standing here. Some friend I am. There was nothing I could do about his illness. And I wasn't by his side during the last moments of his life. So it's not you. Totally not you. After all, you and Gulab are the creators of the music. I'm gonna go sit down now for my standing desk because I've been standing too long. He's one of the creators. He said Capisci. That means you understand. Oh. Capiche. Okay, I don't know how to spell or say things. But yes, I think he said something like that. Like him. If you don't mind, perhaps you could talk to us about it. He would probably help you feel better. <sighs> You're right. I'm getting hungry. Maybe I should help you. Yes, Safi's getting hungry anyway. I mean, it's almost four. Mind listening? Yeah. And when we don't have an actual lunch, it's kind of like... Yeah. I'm kind of hungry now. <laughs> um, he's going to make pork chops and, I guess, rice. Right, Safi? Or did you want to make the gnocchi? No. Yeah, I ate some of it, so you, you have to make new rice. So you want to make the gnocchi instead? Yes, I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're having Naki tonight. Sorry about that. Oh, or I can have the the quinoa and you can have the rice. With the pork chops? Yeah. That's fine. Okay. If you'd rather make pork chops, because you were set on pork chops, so. Go ahead. Huh? I did kind of want those. Okay, then I make just, that. I should have made rice. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll just have the quinoa. 
He said it in the usual wrong way, and that makes it even funnier. Oh, he said it in the wrong way. We, we, yes, I may have said it in the wrong way, because they don't actually speak Italian. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if you heard him, but he's like, if, from my, if my mic's picking him up, but he said that, yeah. He said it wrong way on purpose because he doesn't actually speak Italian. Even though he's Italian-American descent, he's not. Uh, he never got to know his grandparents because they all passed away when he was really young. And if somebody did speak Italian, they would have been his great-grandparents or his grandparents. Um... <coughs> So, yeah, he's, he's kind of in a similar boat as me in that sense that, you know, his parents didn't actually know an Italian, so, yeah. I hear him. I know he did. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's saying it in the wrong uh, comical, what, what Americans think all Italians sound like way. That, 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 that parody kind of way. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Just like Super Mario. Yeah, just like Super Mario. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably more of a Brooklyn accent that that uh the Super Mario the the Mario Brothers are. Why are they called the Mario Brothers and not like their last name? It's Mario's Mario, Luigi's not Luigi. Luigi. It's Mario, Mario, Luigi. What what? Mario. Their last name is Mario. Hey hey Atlas, welcome back. Mario, Mario, Mario. Serious? That's Mario's I last don't know name if they is. They gave a different explanation in the new movie, but that's how it's always. Been. I did not know that. The Mario's last name is Mario. Literally Mario. I did not know that. Wow. That was the first time I've ever heard that. So he's in the back cooking. Um, he's gonna make oh, us I'm some. Cooking, well, prepare. preparing our food, our dinner. So that's why he's it's not on the screen. But you can hear him on my mic, obviously, because the kitchen is literally right behind where I am sitting. So. <laughs> we only have a one bedroom apartment and we are in the main room so like where usually a dining table would be is where my desk is <laughs> and where the living room is is where his uh work setup is so <laughs> i had a friend named luke luke town lukerton and it's scary when I was a travel agent, I sold a ticket to somebody named Chris Christopher Christopher. Like literally, Chris Christopher. It was like, okay. Your congratulations! Your character, your parents turned you into a. Into a turned you oh, and then when I worked as uh, when I worked at the bank, there was this girl. I mean, this is not the similar thing, but it's kind of interesting. Her 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 uh her name was Crystal Lamp. And then she's like, yeah, we get it all the time. My siblings are named, uh, I forgot. There was other things, but it was like a description of a lamp. And I was like, that's cursed. Your parents hate you, I got it. And yeah, like, your parents must have not liked you guys. And she's like, no, they just have a really, really weird sense of humor. I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, says so his parents must have had fun naming him. Exactly, I know. Um... His middle name was C, so I I, they, I didn't actually ask, but it was Christopher C. Christopher. So I'm like, uh oh, is his name is Christopher? His Christopher? Name Christopher? Christ his middle name is Christopher. Funny. Oh God, that was really funny. It's, yeah, there's some interesting people with names out there, and I'm just like Crystal Lamp, really. One of our siblings didn't better name Salt Salt Lamp. <laughs> um, I I believe one of them was um. What are those those the nineteen seventies lamps? What are they? Lava. Yeah, There's yeah. They had a, a, a sibling named Lava Lamp. That's not I remember. They were telling me they uh, telling me this because I looked at her name and she's like, she's like, I know that look, and I'm like, what? And she's like, you're looking at my name and looking up at me like you're about to laugh, and I'm just like, I'm not laughing. I'm just like, wow. I felt bad for her. I was like, it was. I didn't say anything, but it was more like a look of pity, like, oh, that's painful. Uh, better name her kid Clap on <laughs> Oh my gosh, why? No. I don't know if any of her other siblings were Salt Lamp, but I remember there was Lava Lamp, too. She she did tell me one sibling was named Lava. Lava Lamp. And I'm like, oh boy. And then she mentioned that her parents were hippies. So, well, hey, uh, there you go. They when they came up with the name. <laughs> no, they're not high. How could uh, you come up with that name and not be high? 
if you just have a really silly sense okay, of humor. You have to be high. I think it's a good idea to name your kids that. Or really cruel. Oh, hell. Really cruel. How much hell did really they go cruel. through in elementary school? Just because they're names. Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't say. I can't speak for them. Oh, man. There's like a 0% chance that they were not teased in school for those <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I get it, I get it, Safdie. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. It's, it's like, how many of us have never been teased with our names growing up in elementary school? I know Safdie was, I know mine was, but... But that, that, that does take the cake. That, that does take the cake. Having a name like that, that would be painful. I had a girlfriend in college, imagine. <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes you just, you, you have to try things out before you figure out what you like, right? So that makes sense. Um, um, so there's nothing wrong with, you know, uh, checking what, what, what fits you, right? And so it's not really a surprise. It's just, hey, you know, people, there's, I don't see, I, I, I'm one of those people that just, I think a gender is just, a fluid thing, you know? Anybody can really be anything if they really want to be. If that's how they identify, then that's them. I'm not I'm not gonna judge um anybody because I'm not living their life. So yeah. Anyway, anyway, that's I <laughs> yeah, I'm not in Florida, nor am I believing in Florida. Anyway. And her name was Egypt Sh <laughs> Egypt Shade. Oh her brother's name was Throwing Shade <laughs> Okay. These are oh my god. That can't be right. And her dad's name was Lampshade? Oh no, what a coincidence. Oh man, okay. Wow. It's like, it's like the dad's like a Oh, oh, college thing, you, okay. I, so do you. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just saying, I don't mean, uh, I'm not trying to say in judging, I'm just saying, I, I mean, I wouldn't judge you for whatever you've done before. As long as you're happy now, that's all that really matters, you know? <laughs> that's all I'm saying it's like I'm not saying it was a bad thing that you um or or you know imagine with a laugh I mean I get what you're coming from but I'm just like you know everybody can love you love who love is love to me love is you love whoever you love and as long as you're happy that's all that matters it was always weird saying hello Mr. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah that, that that would be really awkward because then you would you almost want to like chuckle and but that would be really rude. So you don't, you can't, you have to restrain yourself. Don't get me wrong, she was great, but just not for me. Oh yeah, see, there you go. I mean, everybody's got to figure out somehow what they like through uh, research and experimentation, I guess. I don't know. We're still friends. Aww, that's amazing. That's, that's the best outcome right there. I think that's the best outcome. I am... Um, and I am not in contact with any of my exes. And not because of choice, really. It's just... They were jerks. One cheated on me, and the other one... I really don't know. That's... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyways. <laughs> but that's great. I'm glad that you're still friends. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, you wouldn't mind missing? Sure, you can talk to us. It's not much of a story, really. You'll hear Safty cutting and, and chopping in the background, so sorry. I wish I could block it, but I can't really. Oh, you both realize you're gay. Oh, and try to end it off with the same. Oh. Funny how things worked out. Later, we both entered the academia. It's good that you guys retain, though, because sometimes I've heard, like, some really sad stories about discovery, and anyway, yeah. Safety better make you food. <laughs> he really was that so, he, he's like, he's like, Safty's better making me food, too. The Elazar got worse. Oh, no, Elazar. After that, he became bedridden. He received treatment in the hospital but had to abandon his research. Oh no. I would go see him in the hospital every day, even though he said there was no need for me to visit so often. 
He must have been worried that he was taking time from your own research. Alizar having Bozo L plus ratio, you made the best part of Genshin. He was clearly the smarter of the two of us. Wait, what? How is it having Bozo? What? What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. He started painting them. Over time, those cards became the basis for Genius Invocation TCG. A game that was born from friendship. It's not only a game. When we were designing it, I deliberately incorporated some theoretical knowledge of the elements. I was originally waiting for him to recover, so we could study the subject. Imagine having a disease, says the C6 R5 Beisha mean? Imagine, I know, right? Exactly. After he passed away, I tried to play the game with someone else, but every time I looked up... I wonder if I, since he's running water, I'm gonna mute it so it doesn't... It was as if he was still sitting there at the table. I know it was all in my head, though. Huh. Paimon understands. Paimon wouldn't ever be able to get used to being away from the Traveler. Paimon would probably find herself talking to the wind, as if the traveler could hear. I'm gonna be right back real quick. I'm gonna go grab the little sound, like makeshift sound barrier. I'm hoping maybe it'll absorb, absorb some of the kitchen noises. Sorry, is it that no. loud? It is pretty loud, but it's okay. I'll, I'll get some. Sorry. I don't know if that's gonna help, but hopefully that helps. Uh, bullying. I'll <laughs> only post a chat. Sorry. Uh, maybe if you have a disease, <laughs> Cost and Cole and Baiju are my two favorite. Oh, yay, Cole is great. You heard Bozo. <laughs> it's a good hearing in the kitchen. It's helping me imagine Safi with a chef hat. <gasps> you know, he really needs to make one, doesn't he? Harry Safety apologize for the decibel level of water and is the single most adorable thing I've heard all day. <laughs> Aw. He, um, Atlas said it's, uh, it's, it's, it's adorable that you apologize for the decibel level of water is the single most adorable thing he's heard today. Um, but yeah, uh, I wanna, I'm just, I, I'm sorry if it was like, and also he's cutting up carrots too, so. Just, this is where it'd be nice to have a, a decent working headset mic, because they usually are better. Right now I have this free, uh, floating kind of, um, one of those blue yetis. Um, Safdie had, uh, at his old job, like back in 2018, he had a Amazon gift card, and he kept getting them. And, uh, he didn't know what to use it on, so he bought himself a mic, and then he was just like, I'll buy you one too in case you want to use a mic and I ended up not really using it so it was like in storage until I don't know six months ago and because my the, the headset on my mic or my mic the mic on the headset that I have right now is one of those razor ones it was really bad it was it was really bad and it was I think it's broken but I I can't find a headset that works everything's all clunky and heavy and doesn't fit on my head to be fair, I haven't been outside much today. Oh no! Oh, you cough! Oh no! Is it because of a? Uh... Wait, Saturday? It's today Sunday. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, I see it. <laughs> you mean um allergy season? Speaking of razors, mine broke today, so I had to go to the sword. Half shaved? Oh no! Wait, go to the sword? You mean go to the store? Go to the sword. Sorry, okay. I was like, go to the sword. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. That 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 stinks. I, I remember Safty's uh, razor once broke when he got half his face shaved one time. And he's one of those people that grows facial hair for days. I mean, he just, it just, he can get a full beard within like a week. 
and it's just like it's horrible so we had to like try to find a, a razor replacement ASAP I can't spell today no you're fine you're fine I was just like looking at like sword I'm like I wonder if that meant store but yeah um allergies are kind of a pain like Safdie got a headache earlier and was coughing a lot and sneezing a lot too after we got back from our walk because I think there's something in there yeah, yeah okay allergy season that makes sense yeah I don't know what's out there right now but it's bothering Safdie but it doesn't really bother me except a slight bit on my eyes are kind of itchy but yeah Colin makes my nose all ticklish but I never sneeze so I just prefer to avoid it oh so you cough instead right yeah I mostly cough when I have uh, a reaction to stuff, too. I don't know what's better, to be honest. It's like sneeze my brain out or sit there and annoy people by coughing all the time. So most of the time when I'm coughing and I and, and everybody's like, are you sick? I'm like, no, I just, there's something in the air that's bothering my, yeah, so. Feels good not to have a single allergy. Oh my gosh, lucky. Luck is lucky. Holy cow. No allergy. I, I, I find that really shocking, but I hope you continue to be blessed for the rest of your life because allergies suck. No, it just makes my nose tickle like I'm about to sneeze. Oh, but you never do. Oh. That trap sneeze can make it feel worse, though. I think trap sneezes are like... I would rather get it all out. Yeah, like Sassy said, you would rather get it all out. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I, I think I relate with that. You're allergic to coffee? Wait, what? Allergic to what? Coffee. Oh. <laughs> that, that's like the worst thing ever. <laughs> oh, hey, Kiseki. Welcome back. How are you? Yeah, being allergic to coffee would be really unsettling for someone like Safi who like lives on... I swear, coffee powers his, uh, powers his body. <laughs> coffee beans, coffee cake, coffee... And wow. Hangover. Oh, no. Hey, Nani. <laughs> No, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> oh no, coffee though. Man, oh yeah, one thing about, uh, when we went to Italy, Luck, I noticed that rather than having like Starbucks in every corner like it is here, you guys actually had real cafes that served real coffee and Safti was in heaven. It was just amazing, amazing coffee. He's never had better tasting coffee ever. Now, now he just, when he came back here, he's like, now I can never go back to drinking that coffee. He eventually did, but he's still grumbling about it because the coffee in Italy was amazing. So I have to go burr when brain bean juice going mouth makes so I have to go burr. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Except he doesn't really go burr, though. He's never, I've never seen him hyper spaz. He's still very, very calm. Just, I've never seen him get hyper. It's really crazy. Even though he just, he can down like three cups of coffee and be totally calm. And then he, his head will hit the pillow and he just out cold within like five seconds. Even if he drinks coffee like at 9 p.m., like an hour before bed, he'll just hits a pillow and he's out. Caffeine does nothing to him. I drink unhealthy amounts of coffee. <laughs> so coffee runs your, uh, your system too. I'm sorry you have a hangover though. Um. I've never had one, so I don't know, but I've read and heard from other people that eating fatty foods can help, like protein, like protein rich foods like bacon and eggs and stuff like that really help with uh, hangovers, apparently. I, I don't know, but the, I don't know if you know that already. You probably do, but apparently that helps uh, cushion the uncomfortableness of the hangover because it's mostly from dehydration. Um, and also drinking um, electrolytes, like adding a little bit of salt to your water if you want a homemade or those uh, sport drinks or just avoid caffeine. Well, no. Do you want to avoid caffeine when you hang over or you want caffeine? Uh, depends on who you are. Oh, it depends on who you are. But generally people like, like try to beat the hangover. Oh, beat the, okay, beat the over, okay, he, he says generally people want to beat the hangover with a coffee, I get it, okay. It's debatable, but that actually helps. But he says it's debatable that it actually helps, okay. No, Italians actually ridicule American coffee. 
they yeah, yes, as they should. Yeah, look, I, I think, I think this is when I smelled the coffee in Italy, it didn't affect, it didn't like assault my senses like it does here. Like, uh, I go into Starbucks and I have to like turn around and go back out, or any like the 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 local stuff, and and I don't know. I whenever I went into a cafe um, that served espresso and other types of um, coffee you know, you know, the coffee bean beverages and stuff. It didn't hurt my nose like it does here. We are so proud of your coffee. I, I, I don't blame you. It was amazing. And, uh, yeah. Really, really good coffee. Safdie is like a well oil machine, but instead he, of oil, he runs on coffee. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, it's fine. The one time I did have coffee, it tastes like shit. Yes, I don't, I agree with you, Atlas. I'm not allergic to it, but I cannot stand, I can't stand the smell of coffee. But like I said, when I was in Italy, I did, was not bothered by it. It didn't, it didn't hurt my nose or my senses. It just makes me want to like, Ugh, when I'm here, but out over there, it was really pleasant. Maybe it's just, you guys know how to do your coffee and here it's like, gotta go, gotta run, you know, make it, burn it as bad as possible and then, and then call it coffee. I have ADHD pretty badly, so caffeine actually makes me sleep. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, because uh, stimulants, like, have an opposite effect or something. I, I, heard, I read about that. It really sucks because I'm always tired in the morning. Can't do... Sh oh, no. But if, if, if caffeine has the opposite effect, doesn't... Uh, stuff that... Like, what they call, I guess, downers, doesn't it have an opposite effect to you then, too? Had a tiny day, so settle uh, drinking. Oh no! I'm sorry that you had a bad day and then you had to drown it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sucks. Which is why I ended up burning my fingers so much because I was always so. Oh no! Oh, because yeah, you said you were a chef, so if you're a chef and you're tired, uh, that that's awful. Y'all, but French bread. I have had French bread. My I have my dad has a brother and a sister that immigrated to France. And we went back there when I was 11 years old. Um, so I have vague memories of it, but I remember every morning, my aunt would go downstairs and from wherever they were living. I just remember stairs. Again, this was 11, so my memory is really, really, really bad. Um, going down the stairs, and she took us one time, and it was, like, they just had markets right on the street, you know, like, selling bread and it always smelled amazing and then she just buys some loaves of bread and then they have that with pate and I looked at I smelled pate and I thought Ugh. and then I was like um you have butter <laughs> that was really tasty with butter they had also no yeah they probably, they probably had cheese too but I, I just put I just used butter and I was plenty happy um oh uh, sorry. Actually, no, it still makes you tired. Oh, so they don't. It, so, well, that stinks. Nothing's working for you. Yeah, I can drink green tea, um, but I can't have more than, like, two cups, um, and not past, like, 1 p.m. Otherwise, I'm just, like, I can't sleep. My mind will just sit there and go in circles and, and jump through hoops for the rest of the night. I just can't sleep when I have anything past a certain time. Um... Most people have a fancy coffee machine in their house. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Safdie's parents do, but I don't know if they use it a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just, yeah, they have one of those, those machines. You know, actually, we found this uh, local restaurant. It was, it's, it's far away from where we live, but it's close by the doctor and, um, that we went to visit on Saturday, yesterday. Um... And, I, I, I mean, she didn't have an accent, so the owner, I don't think, is originally from Europe, but it's called Bella 2, and they sell, like, calzones and pizza and, you know, stuff like that. So we just thought, oh, yeah, okay, this is just your... But it was actually very fresh and very well done, and just, like, um, uh, Safdie had one of their espressos, and it reminded him of... kind of reminded him of back, being back in Italy, so it's like they're doing something right. And we, they had Italian sodas, and um, one time I went, I, when we came back here after being back in Italy, um, and had an Italian soda, it was 
so sweet and it was so gross and it was nothing like what we had back when we were in Italy. But then when we bought it here, I was expecting really something super sweet, but it was actually good. So I, I, I think they import their, the, the stuff they flavor with um, from Italy. So I don't know. It didn't taste like sugar water, you know? Uh, fun fact, French toast is actually called pan, pan perdu, which translates to lost bread. French toast is lost. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious actually. Everything makes me tired. Oh no, American coffee tastes like tea to me. I think I think American coffee just tastes like yeah. He said you're in South America, so I'm sure coffee's a pride and joy there too, since many beans are grown down there. But yeah, American coffee is just horrible. Blech. Anyway, well, it's called pen to pine pan pan. Or pen. I I I'm probably butchering it. I'm sorry, French. My bad for miscommunication. No, no, no. I'm just probably. I'm probably butchering that word. Calzones, cow hawking zones, you mean the most amazing food ever? See, I've never, I, I, I mean, I have had them before, but not like this. It was, it was really, really good. It was just, yes, they, it was amazing. It was just, I don't know. They did something magical with it. And it was, I didn't know about magical, but it was good. It was one of the best stuff I've ever had outside of like Italy. Calzones are just pizza croissants. That's true, but you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh well, but it it might be a joke, but it's not wrong. I mean, it's just stuff. You know, stuff. It looked like a half pie. It. I mean, it was just yeah. Anyway, if you add lots of oil, <laughs> magical. That's just some Disney. <laughs> but no, it tasted so good. It was so. I don't know. Just something about it. Sandwich pizza. Yeah, there you go. Sandwich pizza? Uh, let me know you actually want to start. Oh, yeah, you can go ahead and start. Sorry, I, I should finish this up. Uh, um, you said being a parent. Aw. Yes, everyone else has told me that I have to move. Okay, so it was anime food. Of genius no, it wasn't anime food. It was real food. One of its creators. <laughs> I swear to God, anime food looks so good. Honest. Depends on which one. Ghibli food. Ghibli food always makes me hungry. Never fails. When you watch a Ghibli film. Garvapitum, perhaps you should see what your friend sent you in the package. Uh, right. Hmm, what's this? A letter? Oh, it's a story. Dear friend, you must be wondering why I'm leaving you like this. It's because. Be right Ruma, I'm here. How are you feeling today? I gotta tell you, I had an idea for another card last night. Huh? What's that you're writing? <laughs> it's nothing. <sighs> Okay. Anyway, up for a game? You don't have to visit every day, you know. You should be focusing on your work at the Academia. Hey, enough of that. I'll keep visiting until you've fully recovered. Besides, I can't stand most of the folks at the Academia anyway. Hey, it's your turn. <coughs> Gula, are you okay? You must understand, my Elazar. Hey, don't talk like that. You just need some more rest. <sighs> it's because you won't come to terms with the fact that I don't have long left. Guess what? This game we invented. It's getting pretty popular here in the hospital. Really? That's great news. Yeah. I've even made a device to help people find other players nearby. Here, this one's for you. This way, you'll be able to keep playing even after I'm- Just stop! 
You're gonna get better, you hear me? I don't need this thing. I don't want it! I imagine the casket of tomes I gave you is probably gathering dust in a corner somewhere. So, this is my last gift to you. I'm sorry that I could only give it to you now. Do you remember when we first met? You were the only one willing to be friends with the kid with Elazar. Now, it's my turn to help you make some new friends. This way, I'll always be by your side, my friend. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. They actually drew tears. Wow, they have tears in his eyes. Aww. I haven't played much Genius Invocation myself. All I know is Here's that it has brought joy to a lot of people. As a true TCG player, you just ordered pizza. Nice. That will hopefully help with your hangover. And experience the joy. Of is this actually a card? I don't know. I don't think the one they had in their hands is an actual card. If it is, then I've never seen it. What flavor? Oh yeah, what did you order? Thank you all for your kind words. Good friends never truly leave. They stay in another form. Right. Aww. <laughs> Is that what you were thinking when you left this letter? I've always kept your casket of tomes with me. It was so special for you to draw me a card like this. What a waste it is to never have you. If he were here now, I know he'd say... Hey friends, how about a game of Genius Invocation TCG? Well, what do you think? I'd be happy to. Is that the end? <laughs> Look at the fish. Is that the end? Is it finally the end? You play an enjoyable match of Genius Invocation with Garvapedum. Garvapedum. Something. Sorry. Garvapedum seems to be Garvapedum. Okay. Paimon even saw him crack a smile when he was playing just now. Takes time to heal from pain from the past, but I think this is a good start for his road to recovery. Yeah, it was a good thing that Karara kept track of that package, even when they were unable to deliver it. When my boss asked me to take care of it, I had a feeling that it must somehow be delivered. I couldn't just let it be abandoned. Would you say that was your yokai intuition kicking in? Maybe half parmesan, half chicken. Ooh, I just didn't and catapiri. What's catapiri? Anyway, sounds I good. We'll say goodbye. I mean, oh, I think it sounds good. I don't know what catapiri is, so that's right. Who would have guessed that I'd still get such a quality story after the tournament had finished? It's going to take me a few days just to draft the articles alone. Oh, by the way. I still haven't had the chance to interview you two all this time. After all that we've witnessed on this journey uh -oh. together, do you have anything you'd like to say? We made a, new f a lot of new friends. We learned a lot about genius invocation. Yeah, you could say the best thing we got out of this adventure was the new- I understand. Oops, I'll I didn't sure need to click that. comments into my exclusive news piece. <laughs> <laughs> Just be sure to buy a copy of the Steamberg when you visit Fontaine. And I should get ready to head back to- Anybody pulling for her when she, uh, shows up? Because, you know, it's obvious she's a playable character. She has a cryo vision. Maybe we'll play Genius Invocation TCG if we have the chance. I wonder if she'll be on the debut banner in Fontaine. Yay, I finished it! Okay. Just in time. I can go start getting- Oh, wait, there is a card. Wait, what? Really? I don't know if it's the one they have. Yeah, it looks like it is. But where is it? There's so many of these light novel things. I need to go through them and read them again someday. Everglow Leaf. Oh yeah, that's the thing for the quest. Okay, so that's done, I think. Um 
Yay, completed. Okay, so now I can clean out the store, finally. Yay, all done. Okay. I know that there was one last thing that I wanted to do, at least on a stream, because... Uh, just for memory's sake, um, where is it? The NPCs are scattered now around the area. So I'm gonna go see what they have to say. Um, apparently, Diona's out here? Yeah. That's interesting. Oh, she's literally right here with her dad. Hey, Dad. Want to play a game of Genius Invocation? But before... Uh, it's a mild... Oh, it's a cheese! Oh, wow, that's a lot of cheese on the... You're already tipsy from drinking... Sounds good, yeah. The game will be over in three rounds. Uh-oh. Three rounds? <laughs> Sounds like you're underestimating your dear father. What are they here and not at town? Game out to at least, uh... Five rounds. <laughs> huh. and you'd still yeah, that's Diona's dad. The drunk. Last time we played, you mistook the hydro elemental dice you rolled for cryo. Uh, <gasps> the shame. <laughs> you know I have a problem with my eyesight. <laughs> oh no. You have a problem with drinking. Don't try to cover it up. Oh no. All right, all right. I know drinking is bad. Hey Yoshi. <laughs> yes, Diona. Single drop. There. Happy? Hmm. I guess so. <laughs> now, if I do win, what's the prize? What? You tried to get me to mix you a drink? Oh, get you. <laughs> Oh no. In your dreams, I will lose. Let's start. Oh boy, that's too funny. Okay, so next one is uh Wow, she went all the way back home. Uh She is out here. I'm just using some guide, so don't mind me. I'm just trying to get their dialogues in here for... Well, supposedly she's out this way. Oh, there she is. Oh. 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 Did you make the trip all the way back here just to see Coco by herself? I know. Well, that makes sense. She's kind of an introvert. She likes to get away to recharge her battery. About the thieves, about the tournament, I'll be on my way there. Oh, so that's what you uncovered in the end. Hmm. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. But thank you for letting me know. Hearing how things ended almost feels like reading the end of a light novel. Now we can all love the thieves. About the tournament. Winning or losing isn't what's most important. <laughs> About playing with I only really remember seeing Dion and her dad. Oh, I didn't even know. I was just looking at a guide and trying to find these people. More cheering for me, though. I suppose I really tried to bring my best to the game. <laughs> now that I think about it, it was great that I was able to speak to you before the competition. Energy plus five? Oh, that's cute. No, please don't ever mention that to anyone. <laughs> oh. So that's what you and but thank you for letting me know. Hearing how things ended almost feels like reading the end of a light novel. Now we can all rest at ease. Did I already read? Or losing isn't oh. what's most important. It's about playing with elegance. That's how I've always looked at it, anyway. After seeing you all cheering for me, though. Oh, yeah, I already read this. Oh, sorry. I guess. I guess. You came all the way to Watatsumi Island. You might as well rest for a moment before you return. I hope you will stay in your heart forever. Takes a screenshot, yeah. Cause I just TP'd and I saw Dion and her dad, so I was like, that is cute. Yeah, that was that is cute. Mm. 
the Deanna won mustard won mustard tournament? I'm not sure. I didn't know they she wasn't participating. Oh, Timmy won it. Yeah. I, I guess she wasn't Safty said she wasn't participating. Too busy. Ah, okay. Too busy with making uh beverages, I guess. Apparently. Uh. No. Ah, yay, I got it. Apparently there's, uh, Kazaha. Yep, right here. So, you leave for a few days and come back with some serious TV skills. Care to explain? <coughs> Uh oh. Fortunate enough to have played a match with a skilled opponent. Oh? I think she was busy with something else. Oh, okay. I don't remember what it was because I forgot about it. Oh, Beto and Kazu. Yeah. Uh, Ningguang doesn't have the time for this sort of thing. Hmm. Forgot about well, seeing that. Shinyan aren't usually practical. I, I just found a guide on it and I was like, oh, you know, I may as well get that on a, on a stream while I can. I guess I only know. I found two. Oh, that's fine. I, I think there's only one more after this. Did she happen to be in Lira Harbor? Sorry, Captain. You still haven't guessed it. But I did happen to see the traveler and even forged a new friendship over cards. Oh, made a new friend, huh? Then I won't be able to guess it. Yes, I met Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. He just gives it up. Yeah, I've heard of her before. I isn't she the one that won the King of Invocations Grand Prix in Lyra? That's right. She said that she's been an admirer of yours for a long time and hopes to make your acquaintance one day. Hmm. All right. There isn't a better opportunity. We'll invite her aboard to play a few matches, and I'll get a taste of playing against a champion. Dun, dun, dun. Speaking of which, perhaps I should go find her personally at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. You know, to show some sincerity. She wants to become a client? <laughs> Sorry, that's mean. That's mean. Um, wow, all the way out there? Um... Is it, is it this one? Kind of hard to tell. Okay, who tell Leo, Sino, Sad... Uh, oh, you mean Sumeru, oh. Coco, Inazumi, Inazuma, and Mustard, a freaking NPC. Yeah, Timmy won. Yes. Traveler, what a That's weird, isn't it? Sino already told me everything that happened. About Sino's unfunny jokes. <laughs> hey, don't insult Timmy. Look on his face. I don't want to hear any more. <laughs> That's all I have to say on that topic. Oh boy. We've been quiet in the Avidia Forest lately, so I've been playing with Kale every now and then. Kale never ceases to amaze me. She even managed to place well in that tournament. Oh yay. Timmy won, but he's not gonna get his no, dad back. Oh Yoshi! Oh no. Wasn't on my side Tendi's Archon. Only a few matches in. Mercy when it comes to G. Timmy's dad is in the Shadow Realm. He even let out a loud yell when he played the winning card. It really hurt my ears. It's been a while since I've seen him get so stirred up like that. I'll be on my way. Be so polite. You should visit again when you have the time. So Tignari and um, Kokomi were uh, both loners. The other two had friends. It looks like that's all. That's the only ones I can find on this guide. So yeah. So if you go around and. I think that's kind of neat, those little Easter eggs that they put in, um, randomly, you know, just kind of scattered about. Oh, uh, wait, actually, I want to... I need to go to my Serenity Pot. Uh, sorry, I thought it was funny. No, it is funny. You're just like, oh, <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. You don't have to apologize for that. It is... It's like, it's like one of those bitter pill kind of funnies, I guess it was, but how dare you? <laughs> exactly, Yuck, that, that, that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, he's kind of, he, it's kind of an ongoing joke since, like, the beginning, right? 
Anyway, um, yeah, since dinner's almost ready, I'm gonna, and I'm really hungry because I haven't eaten much of anything. I'm gonna go ahead and find a raid target since Safti's finishing up cooking. This is quite a view. I love, I love this. I can't change from this place of the pot because, I mean, look at this. This is gorgeous. I love this. I love the design of this and I love how it has the, oh, there's Safti on here. I forgot to hide him. He's not actually here. He's cooking. Hold on. I hate him. But yeah, I love how there's like little cranes flying across too. Oh, he's just um, behind me cooking if you can hear the cooking sounds. Um, let's see here. Who is streaming right now? Oh, there's Maru. Maru always raids me and I'm actually catching him to raid. So I'm gonna go. He's playing more Genshin. He does. He has a, a redeem that you can have him clear your uh, spiral abyss. He's a really talented Korean streamer, a Korean American rather, um, and he's just overall a really nice guy. Really fun to watch. Very talented at playing this game. He's also very much a whale, so he has really strong characters and stuff. I can hear him pulling, putting on a chef hat. <laughs> they really want you to wear a chef hat, Safty. Yeah, Yes, he will work on it, he said. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go say hi to Maru. Um, and yeah, Safdi's. Oh my gosh, I, I keep. I never Sorry, died. Guys, I'm in the Those you. are the raid messages the top one's for subs, this bottom one is for non subs. Um, for, and for everybody else, rather. So if you'd like to use a raid message and stay along with the raid, you get a, a few extra channel points, I guess, so whatever you wanna use it for, or whatever. Anyway, thank you again for being here on, um, on, well, it's scheduled, but not, I don't know if I'll keep doing Sundays, but yeah. Uh, it was nice to see everybody at a different time, and I hope, luck you get some good rest and stuff, and everybody else too as well, but luck it's like really late where, where he is, where he is right now, so. Yeah, um, thank you again, everybody. Uh, hope you have a good rest of your weekend, and, um, I don't know when I'll be back next. I'm trying to decide. What is, yeah, if you stay tuned to Discord, I guess, I'll post my schedule there. That's the only thing that I use. I don't like to use any other social media. So, yeah. Anyway, have a great, I'll see your weekend, and um, see you next time. Uh, yeah, see you, see you, Yoshi. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Need me to come up with some for you? I got a new letter from an informant. Looks like the situation has changed again.